Hey, idiot, quit playing that trash and play Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne for the Nintendo Switch instead. Would that I could, Jack Frost. Would that I could. First of all, I can't because the PS3, I haven't bought a splitter to do streaming, so I can't stream Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne. Second of all, Persona 4 is not a bad game either. It's just... I, I should be playing Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne for the PlayStation Switch. But yeah, uh, jokes aside, um, hey guys, welcome to the stream. Um, a lot happened today, um, in case you woke up to see the Nintendo Direct. Um, yeah, I didn't expect anything. Yesterday, I did keep telling friends, I was like, you know, news about Shin Megami Tensei Five would be cool! And then I was like, hmm, maybe. I don't know if they would, but then... I woke up, like, here's how the story went down. I would put a webcam to kind of show how I reacted, but that's stupid. So, to give you an idea, I was sitting at my desk getting ready for work. I, I work remotely, so I'm just turning on my computer. Uh, I had my phone uh, on the Nintendo YouTube page. I thought it was going to be a live stream, but for eight minutes, I doubt it, for an eight-minute video. So I was just refreshing until the video uploaded, and I was like, okay, cool, it's a video. I will ignore social media until I get to it. So I put my phone down, just let it play. The first few announcements, um, Cadence of Hyrule was cool. I enjoyed that. Um, let's see, they've done shorter live streams for Pokemon Directs. Yeah, that's Pokemon! I don't care about Pokemon! I mean, sorry, all the Pokemon fans out there. The my my dumb opinion is that Pokemon Silver was the last good Pokemon game, but that's just me because I'm dumb. But I do have Sword and Shield. I could stream that sometime. Anyway, that's not the point. That's we're getting off topic. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm watching it. The first few announcements, I was like, Kings of Hyrule, cool. I'm fine with that. Next game was some like cyber punkish dumb looking thing i like cyberpunk stuff don't get me wrong but it just looked like watchdogs the the team shooter and i was like no i'm good and then it went to wwe and then i was just like that i don't care about john cena anymore so i just left it alone and then they're like hey we're gonna have our last announcement and i was like i like the moment i looked down at my phone i said out loud if it's not shin megami tensei i like i'm done but then the Atlas logo popped out. I freaked out. But then I saw stuff and I was like, wait a minute. Wait, that's Nocturne. And then I started freaking out. I'm like, we're getting a remake. Or not a remake, like a remaster. And it was what it was. And I was like, oh, baller. That's awesome. I freaking love it because more people need to play Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne. So I was like, cool. That's awesome. I love it. And then afterwards, there was just like, hey, one more thing. And then they showed the Shin Megami Tensei Five logo, and I freaked out. And that was like my, my kind of, it's a normal expectation, because they haven't talked about Shin Megami Tensei since the launch of, like, the Switch. Or, like, they had that presentation, and it was like, hey, Shin Megami Tensei Five, And I was like, cool. Can you tell us more? No. Okay. And as time went on, we heard nothing absolutely nothing until today which is more or less the same as the trailer before we didn't get any gameplay but hey we didn't forget you we're coming out next year and i'm like cool we still don't know anything about shin megami tensei 5 which in all honesty i'm gonna be 100 percent honest the less i know about shin megami tensei 5 i think the better this game will be or it could be worse i don't know like some tells me like down the line before it comes out they're going to show more of it for sure but i think the less i know about shin megami tensei 5 the more excited i'm going to be also we got nocturne to look forward to and i'm so excited for more people to play nocturne and be like oh man persona's cool and all and i'll be like yeah but have you seen jack frost literally make fun of you in game because i haven't seen that in persona 4 all i can do is summon him i want I want Jack Frost to make fun of gamers and players, and that that's the joy I get. That's all I want. 
Ironic, I'm drinking a blue Gatorade right now. Anyway. So, yeah. Good day. Good day. Now, when are they going to translate the original for Nintendo Switch Online? Oh, they, they're never going to translate it. We already got Shin Megami Tensei 1 on iOS, but it's outdated and you can't play it anymore. So it's useless. So the only way you can play is the fan translation, but then the fan translation has like some bugs and glitches that everyone's like, eh, it's broken, I won't play it, and I'm like, ah, which I'm fine with, it's okay, whatever. Uh, oh well, you can't win them all. But today, the real winners were the Shin Megami Tensei Kings. We did it again. My only uh, complaint now is every Persona player is going to be like, well, I'm not going to buy Shin Megami Tensei. And I'm going to be like, you know what? I will be very upset if you don't buy it because, dang it, I want more Shin Megami Tensei. That, anyway, that's my dumb ramble of the night. I, I really like Shin Megami Tensei. I just really, really like it. Did you see the review bombing on Metacritic for Shin Megami Tensei games? Uh, no, I haven't, because I don't go to Metacritic. I barely go to that website. Alright, let me just get this game set up here. Hold up. I, I guess the review bombings are pretty bad. I don't know. I just know that uh, Metacritic is going to try a new system to like slow down that stuff, but... Something tells me, uh, A, it's not going to work, and B, it's just going to make more people mad. And at this point, I don't know. I'm going to be honest. I think 100% of people who go on Metacritic to like, review stuff or just bomb it are just like 13-year-old kids because they never played more than five minutes of like an actual video game before. I don't know. Maybe I'm being too harsh. And I, 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 pro I am. I am being harsh. I'm, I'm just I'm just kind of a grumpy old man at this point and everyone you can make fun of me all you want I'm, I'm fine with that even though I'll probably be very hurt in the inside but it's just I want I don't know I just want people to actually just sit down and play a video game it, like it's not hard to do I mean maybe in some circumstances yes it is hard to play a very long video game like I know it's hard for me sometimes but just take the time to, to play a game and form a opinion rather than just trying to uh, just be in an echo chamber where someone drops one opinion and then you just have to echo that out to just be a part of the group. Because let's face it, you're going to end up looking like an idiot just not knowing what's in the game and you're just screaming into the void hoping that people will just give you attention or something like that. I don't know. I find myself lacking time for games nowadays because of... Yep, that's the same with me. It's just, now that I'm working from home, I, I can make time to, like, stream games. Like, I, I like to because I know people enjoy it and stuff, but... Yeah, usually if I'm sitting around when I'm not working, I'd rather be doing anything else than playing a video game. Even though I love video games, they're fun. But... Yeah, I get it. It's just, I feel like... If you really want to critique a game, you actually have to play it. Like, you actually have to, like, go through, form an opinion for yourself, rather than just going about what other people say. Like, sometimes, opinions from other people, it does help. I can see the benefits of it. But, holy moly, just don't, um... Just don't go off what uh, some people say. Like, yeah, Arlo has dumb opinions about Paper Mario. Like, those are his opinions. I respect that to an extent. It's just, I don't like it when people just backpedal what he says and be like, it's considered fact. Uh, don't do that. Just sit down, play a game, if you can. And if you can't, then, well, don't argue about it. Just kind of just speculate and then just form your own opinion once you have time to play it. Or watch a YouTube video. I don't know. It's different for everybody, for sure, but I'm not going to stay on that topic for too long. It's just... What I'm trying to say is I'm very happy that Shin Megami Tensei is going to be in a new light, and I hope people buy it, because I'm so sick of Morgana being the mascot character, and I want Jack Frost to put Morgana in their place. So, please, Atlas, let uh, Jack Frost just kick Morgana while they're down, and... 
Just let him have his let him have his throne again. Let let my boy have a job. Teddy for mascot? No, no. We we can't. As much as I love Teddy, I look. I'm I'm loving Persona Four a ton. Like, it's a fun game. I enjoy it. But I'd much rather keep Jack Frost as the face of Atlas and all that. I mean, come on. I mean, look at this. See Atlas. He's he's on a freaking beverage machine. If I were to see Teddy there, I'd be very upset. But that's because I'm I'm a dumb loser baby who cares about Jack Frost way too much. Wow, the town's getting excited. I don't really know much about Natsu-kun's interview. Well, it's a fact that he helped solve the case, so it's no surprise he was interviewed for his contribution. And I'd rather have people excited about things like that than all the bad news, you know? Okay, but... Wait, where's, um, Dojima? Because we have to get more info about Naoto. The detective prince is the talk of the town. I wanted to be a detective when I was a kid, but now I don't think about it. There's not much different between a private eye and a police detective. Huh, wait a minute. Other than the uniform, what is the difference? Yeah, you're right. What about you? Naoto Shirogane. Sorry, but I never talked to him. He doesn't go to school, right? He only cares about the murder, so it's not like he was available to chat with. Naoto, I don't know him. Never talked to him at school or anything. You should ask some of the girls at school. I bet they'll know. Okay, we'll go to school. Ugh, sorry, I had to go. Dad needed help with TV, by which I mean he asked me to help him with stuff. He ignored my advice and was. Hmm, that's not good. That sucks. I'm sorry, Squid. That stuff blows. Where are the Goyles? Tell me about Na Naoito. Naoto-kun, he's gotten pretty popular. I mean, yeah, what else is new? Tell me more. Well, I heard a rumor that there's this girl who saw him, saw something that belonged to him. Must have been near the laboratories. Why don't you try looking? Where's the laboratory? Probably in the uh, prep. It has to be practice building because that's where the building is. Oh, how about you? What do you know? You want to hear about Shirogane kun? Oh, this is interesting. I saw him get really angry. Why? I'm not sure what it was about, but he was with a policeman. Oh, dear. I wonder what happened to make him shout like that. This was at the shopping district a, while, a little while ago. Naoto's with a policeman earlier. In any case, you should try to find this policeman. Okay. Let's find this stinky loser. Let's, let's give him a piece of our minds. Be like, listen. Why Giella detective clearly figured everything out before you guys? I mean, come on. To the central shop and... Alright, alright. Wow, this town's... Yeah, shush, shush, yeah. Come on. Where's the stinky police officer? Okay, there's the stinky. There he is. What do you want? <laughs> Don't start with me, dude. I'm in the middle of something here, so don't bother me. If school's out, go home already. I swear, kids these days. He doesn't seem to be in the mood to talk. Maybe it's the best to make a change of plans. Bro, I just want to ask one question. Let's ask you. I don't know any more that's on the news. You can ask the police. I tried. Watch. Hmm, how can I talk to this stinko? <laughs> Wait. Maybe? Let's talk with my friends. We relied on Dojima-san before, but, so we shouldn't bother them this time. Uh, I'll ask the, Yeah, I'll ask the others. Hey, buddy. Those police bozos won't even talk to us. If it comes to this, we're going to have to rough them up. Or, I guess that's not an option, but, I mean, <laughs> what should we do then? 
Okay, um... Yukiko, Kanji, you got... N nothing. Uh, Chie, you may have an idea, I hope. Chie, 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 Chie... She is somewhere. Let's go find her. All right, she. I, I desperately need help. Uh, let's see what you have to say. The police won't talk to us. What are we gonna do now? We should steal some uniforms and never mind. No way. That's not gonna work. All right, Chie, you're my last option. She is not here. Uh, if I were Chie, where would I be? The Dojima residence? Nope. Uh, if she's at Junez, I'm gonna... No, she's not at Junez. Clearly. Hmm. Oh no, where would he be? I'm sorry. Have you talked to Reese's? Like, I don't know what to do in this part. Uh, Reese's. Where? I'm at info for now, so where's Chie? Also, where w Are they at the high school? Because I asked the school and I thought to. Maybe Chie's at school. Uh, nothing. Nothing. Oh, uh, yay. I was getting somewhere. Uh, nope. I don't remember what to do in this part. It's fine. If I can find uh, Reese's peanut butter cup. Usually she is on the roof. But, yeah, I don't think anyone is. Other than these two nerds. Of course they're not up here. Of course not. Huh. <sighs> Let's check this shop, the central shopping district, I guess. Nope, oh, talk to Adachi, got nothing. <sighs> Sorry, it's fine. Don't worry about it. A lot of people are having an off Monday. I was having a bit of an off moment, like an hour or so ago, but it's, I'm, I'm, I'm over it. Oh gosh, where? Gosh, where the heck? Of course they're not in the shrine, unless they are, which I doubt. No, nothing, I figured. Oh, ba 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 I may need to look at a guide. I shouldn't, but I wanna. Hold on. Hold on. Reese's not even in there. What the heck? Where could have anyone. Wait, there's one town I never checked. I doubt they're there. I don't know why you'd be in this the big city. Yeah, exactly. Why would they be in the big city? They're asking around in Inaba. Yeah, what am I thinking? Maybe... This is a stretch, but what if I, um... 
Aha, are you? This isn't the time for this. I hear that the Detective Prince had been working with the police is missing. Why doesn't anyone ever tell me anything? I can help too. Okay, you're one of the cool guys that knew... Well, you wish you knew something, but you didn't. The Neko Shogun doll. Sure, give me the Shogun doll. Give it. Give me. Give me the Neko Shogun doll. Hey, Sean, welcome to the stream. I'm trying to find out info about Naoto. Did I meet you by in the cheer squad outfits? I haven't bought that yet. I just kind of started. I'm trying to find info about Naoto, and I'm finding nothing. Uh, yeah, yeah. Give me. Give me. Give me, please. Might want to check out the costume shop. Okay. One more attempt. How many attempts can I get? Just give me the the show the Neko Shogun doll, please. <laughs> I know Naoto's missing. Well, not missing. We know where he is, but gosh darn it! If I don't get my Neko Shogun doll, I will scream and scream and scream. A ball of lightning. Man, so many attempts. So, so much opportunity. No, I know when to quit. <laughs> the game just forced me. Alright, let's check out clothes. Oh, I want to cheer with you your best. Oh my gosh! Three cheers for Reiko Osa. Go, go, Reiko Osa. The styles to die for. I'm Reiko Osa, charismatic fashionista. Wowie. Maybe I'll buy. 5,900! Sorry, 1,000! <laughs> I messed that up, my number. I messed up my numbers. Now you see why? I mean, there is a way I can get more money. I mean, there is one way. There is one way. No. I could. I could. I could! But that would make me a cheater, as they would say. So, no. I won't do that. <sighs> All right. It's not cheating if it's an in-game option. Not like a game shark. It's true. Well, you bring up a good point. I might as well do that. But then I can imagine the people screaming at me. And then I'll be like, yeah. Uh, does anyone know where Chie is? I'll scream at them louder. <laughs> Just to scream off. Yeah, because it's like, I'm trying to talk to the the stinky high school root. No, because we're trying to figure out info about Naoto. And I talk with, um... Yeah, because here's the thing. I talk to the policeman, and he's like, I'm not going to tell you nothing. And I'm like, please tell me something. Because, like, we can't talk to the policeman. And I'm like, oh, that sucks. And then freaking Kanji's like, oh, we can't talk to them, that sucks. And I was like, okay, I'm going to Samegawa River to talk with um, Yosuke. And he's like, oh, yeah, we can't talk to the police officer. And I was like, and the game's like, okay, you better talk to the rest of the team. And I'm like, I have no idea where Rise and Shie are. I can't even find them. So now I'm just kind of like aimlessly walking around. Because I thought I was getting somewhere. She is at the Sonogawa River bit. Oh, is she down the stairs? That's the one place I didn't check. Hmm. That that could that could be it. I didn't check down the river. I did not check all my surroundings. I legit forgot about the Because every time I go there no one is there. It's just like nothing. There's Chie. 
Uh, yeah, I guess it's no good unless we... Ah, frick, what'd you say? Like, now it's has been in school recently, blah, 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 blah. Why not ask them something like that? Suggest... Oh, it does seem to make sense. Next time you speak to the police, you should... Yep, I'm doing that. Okay, she did something... She just legit said, make sense. And I'm like, okay, I'll make sense when I speak. When I talk to the police officer, I'll stamp my foot down and be like, no more. And he'll be like, what are you talking about? If you act like you're Nanto's friend. I barely, I barely know, I barely know him. All I know is that he has a really cool hat. Nanto has a freaking cool hat. And that's about... Hey, Duper, welcome to the stream. I'm trying to investigate about Naoto, because he went went through the big TV to be like, hey, I'm using my galaxy brain to stop the criminal. And I'm like, what? Had to sit through a long ad? I didn't choose these ads. Subscribe, you freeloader. <laughs> Sean, oh my gosh. You got some business with me, kid? Just because I don't look it, I'm still busy, you know? You told him that Naoto hasn't been coming to school lately and that you're worried. Shirogane, do you know him? I do. Oh my gosh. Justin, thanks for the sub. You, you didn't have to. I can't be <laughs> I can't believe the chat bullied my friend to sub to me. You didn't have to. Justin, you didn't have to. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Sean gifted the first gift sub. Do you need any more of my <laughs> No, it's, I didn't ask you to. It's just thank you, but I feel bad because now chat is just like... <laughs> and then you... <laughs> True, Sean, what the heck? <laughs> I just realized what happened. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what a... What a night. <laughs> If we keep up this sub rate, we can finally get more emotes in the chat. Who knows? Funny, it wasn't that long ago that he'd be around well in into the night looking through the files. Even if he wasn't satisfied with the case's outcome, he seemed to be so focused that I thought he was obsessed with it. Uh, you listen to him talk about Naoto. Maybe you should try talking to another police officer. I know where the other one is. No, I talked to him. He knew nothing. Where would the other stinky officer be? Unless he just appears out of nowhere. Hey, Adachi, you're a policeman. Not really, you're a detective man. Wow, the town. You said that already, I don't care. 200 sheer bits? Oh my gosh, I have not seen someone do that since forever that's 200 too jeez thanks i don't know what bits do. i don't know what bits do i'm sorry i i'm still new to this <laughs> i don't know what bits do we gotta set up your alert i know how many bits is a bioware point it's a tip nerf alerts I did nerf the alerts because one, I don't know how it works. They're like a tip donation. I think each bit is one cent for you. Uh, personally, I like no alerts. Yeah, I I don't know. I think alerts are neat and all. It's just I don't know why I don't use it. Everyone tells me I need to, and I'm not against it. It's just I just want to get the general consensus. <laughs> These bits are enough for Reese's Pieces. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> they get in the way of my Persona 4 viewing. <laughs> Reese's <laughs> Reese Pieces, indeed. Oh, Alerts are good because it incentivizes donating because some people use it as a form of interaction with the stream. Enable TTS so we can say funny words on the <laughs> talk to s text to speech. If I enable text to speech, that would just be an. Um, that would be a thing. Oh, uh, this... Ah, oh, man. I have Kylo Ren doing more when I get bits. Gosh. Um, is there another, like, police officer I should be looking for? 
I'd pay five dollars to make the text-to-speech say, I am Matt and I am <laughs> Oh, I almost read that out. Oof. Oof. You almost made me read that out loud. Ugh. Gotta be careful. So close. <laughs> almost. You almost got me. Uh, Dojima Resonance. I don't know any other police officer around. So I'm guessing there's no other Stinko officer to talk to, so I just have to go to bed for the night, or... I checked everything? Please do your voice saying this. No. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> Flower. Oh my gosh. Not until you tell me what to do next. How many more subs? <laughs> How many more subs do I have to give before joggers at tier one? We're at seven. We need seven. No, wait, no. I guess seven more. That's four. No. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen. That's eight. That's right, I kept counting wrong. It's like eight more subs to like chain to get a new slot for an emote. Because you have to have fifteen subs. Too rich for my blood. Gosh. Flower. Read the title of the clip I just linked. No! <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. I will do the voice if you tell me what to do next. Because I legit don't know if I should be going to bed or there's another police officer I have to look for. Talk to the I just did! I talked to one of them and it said go talk to another! Oh my gosh. We will help. No, you won't. <laughs> You're just gonna want me to say you want me to say the thing, and I don't want to. Once you say Oh my gosh, you really want me to say it. Oh my gosh. Hold on. I hate you guys. <laughs> I hate you so much. But I don't really mean that. I love you guys, but... Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't even want... I have to say it in my voice. Get your clips ready. I hate all of you. <sighs> no one's gonna clip this either. Let it be known. If anyone's watching this VOD, <laughs> I was... I was literally threatened by channel points, clips, and many things just to get me to say this one phrase, so he'll thank me later. Clip this part <laughs> Clip this- I can't! Not with the full VOD I'm gonna upload later. Gosh. <laughs> Gosh, I hate you guys. Oh, alright. Flower fellow don't put channel points to do funny voice. Flower fella says, please do your voice saying this. I am Matt. I am a simp for Rise. There, I said it. Are you happy now? Uh, you guys are happy? I said the thing. There it is. Yep. Yeah. Flower fella, please do your voice saying I am Matt and I am a simp for Rise. I hate you guys so much. Gosh dang it. Watches you just don't tell. <laughs> Who's doing super cuts? No one's doing super cuts. I just upload it raw as it is. If someone wants to go through all my VODs and just do a super cut of just every, like, moment, be my guest, but I'm not doing it. I hate everyone so much. <laughs> I, no one's gonna really help me, are they? I'm, I guess I'm gonna try to find them myself. Even though I'm pretty sure someone out there watching this VOD is like, you are wasting time. I'm like, I'm not. I'm trying not to. <laughs> In front of the liquor store? I'll drop this in the complete inbox of Discord. <sighs> Whatever, I don't care. Just do what, do what you're gonna do. Yeah, I talked to this police officer already. He was like, again? What did I tell you? Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, jeez, I don't know what his problem is. Alright, time to move along. It's, it says, talk to another officer. 
Do I keep talking to him? I guess not. Because... Yeah. Simp confirmed. Why is everyone just clipping this part? <laughs> Simp confirmed. And then just the thing I said. Gosh dang it. Oh, there's Chie. What the heck? Well, it's true that I was trying to really hard, but the gather... Other police officers? Hoomst. Hoomst. Hoomst, Chie. Hoomst. Whomst may they be? I only see Adachi, but he's like half detective, half whomst. Yeah, because there's no one else in the shopping district to talk to, so. <laughs> I hate. I'm not clicking that tweet. I'm not doing it. I guess the Samigawa flood at the lake? I swear, if a police officer's down the river, I'm gonna scream. Screams in heavens. Did you just save the cool hat? No! I've been stuck at the beginning because everyone is just wanting me to say stupid things and I'm not making progress. I talked to the police officer and it was like, hey, maybe you should talk to other police officers. And I'm like, but where? Whomst? I can't save Naoto unless I have information, which is stinky. You made progress in our hearts. No, I didn't. <laughs> Ugh. Not even at Junez. Talk to the housewives in front of the shrine. Have fun. What, Justin? Are you that mad that I can't progress in video game? You got an incredible idea for... What's your cool idea of a meme? I, I pray tell. Nah. But I'll love it? Mm, I doubt it, but okay. You looking for the police officer? Let's see. I've seen... Why is it so arbitrary to talk to, like, they really want you to talk to everybody, huh? Because, and in any obvious sense, maybe because I'm an idiot, and that's true, I'm the stupidest guy around. Um, it's like, you need to talk to a specific woman to know about where the next police officer is. But it's like, in a logical sense, if you talk to someone and the game tells you, you should probably find another police officer, you just look for the next police officer. Maybe I'm just stupid. Like, the game tells me what to do. It's like, sure, I do that, but then it's like, no, you gotta really talk to everybody. I'm like, but why, though? Why? What did you say? Patrolling around here. That doesn't help me at all. Who else is patrolling? Or the one guy at the end of the road? Ma'am? This game fights you really hard. It does. It makes me question my intelligence, whether it was a good idea if I dropped out of college or not. I don't know, man. Blows my mind. Turn off this trash game and play a real game like Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne. No. I promise I beat it and I'm going to do it. Dang it. I'm going to play this game. Come back tomorrow, then talk to them again. That's the steps I got. So I do have to go to bed. Now I have to go to bed. Otherwise, we'll be wandering around for ten more minutes. Wasting time. I'm, I'm sure some Persona fan out there is just like, dude, this, this kid's whiny. And I'll be like, kind of, but I, I have my reasons. Heho, play SMT Nocturne, you dying... <laughs> wow. <laughs> My son would never say that. Might as well just save before I forget, because who... Imagine if this game crashed. Imagine. Yeehaw.
your son has said so much worse. I know he has. I know. No, like Matt, honestly, Persona 4 is hardcore strategy guide logic, and I honestly think that's part of the whole fog search for the truth and theme. I mean, yeah, if that's what they intended, but... Man, I, maybe if every PC version of Persona 4 Golden came with a big box and a player's guide, that'd be cool, but they didn't. They, they really wanted me to figure it out. That's what they should have done with the original Persona 4. Did it come in a big box? Did it come in a big gamer box that had Ness on the front? And then you got a big player's guide with scratch and sniff of what Risei's, like, drink smells like because she has that weird calorie drink at the start of the game. The original Persona 4 on SNES color found. <laughs> yeah. Reese did, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not reading that out loud. Nope. Sorry, Flower. I know what you meant, but... I'm gonna translate. I need money. The chat is going off about thighs right now. I, I will not repeat it, <laughs> but I'll give you a, a quiet thumbs up. You can't see it because I don't have a webcam on, but I'm giving you guys a thumbs up. Did you all have a memorable summer vacation? I guess. I had a beautiful time in Egypt. Do you just have time to go to Egypt? Alright. <laughs> oh, the people were very kind to me. They were probably able to sense my deep appreciation and love for their history. I even found some things with my da my dowsing rod. The citizens were very glad indeed. Time sure flies when you're having fun. I'm sure your summer break was short for all of you as well. However, don't you think that there are some things in life that are just best ended quickly? Like, dang, I was in Egypt and there was these guys, and they were trying to find a guy. His name was Dio Brando, I don't know. I didn't know who it was, but they were swell fellas. War is one of them, so here's a question. Ms. Chia- no. Matt. You. Okay. How short was history's shortest war? I want to say 40 minutes, because I, I believe a story like that. You gave the answer you think is correct. Good job, Matt. I'm impressed you knew. Yes, the shortest war in history lasted only 40 minutes. It was the Anglo-Zanzibar War, which began with an already staggering difference in military resources. Mind you, this lecture will be longer than the actual war we're going to talk about. There's so much to learn. You gave the correct answer. Yay. Honestly, Egypt is not a good vacation choice because there are literal children who steal and con people at the big tourism sites. I know, I watched JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 3. I know what goes down in Egypt. People have stands and they fight each other. It's pretty freaking cool. <laughs> JoJo's real life. As much as people dunk on um, Part 3, I still think that... Uh, it's a really good part of JoJo. I It's like one of my favorite arcs. Like, yeah, it's very shonen and it has like just like the monster of the week kind of deal where they just fight a stand. No, but like actual child grifters. I know they exist. I played Metal Gear Solid 5. No, wait, that's the other thing. No, I know Child Steel. I've been to Brazil. I've seen children pickpocket. Brazil is filled with fun looters and stuff. I, I've been to Brazil, I've witnessed people trying, uh, some, someone tried to take my wallet, and I was able to get away with it, because one, he was drunk, two, he was very slow on reflexes, so I just moved my wallet to different pockets, and then, and then afterwards, they were just like, wait a minute, I know there was a wallet there, and I'm just like, I know you're trying to steal it, you're not doing a very good job at trying to get it. Reflexing, I've seen Karate Kid twice. No, it's just I've been to Brazil. I just know these things, like people stealing stuff. I'm, I'm not surprised. I watched the DVD bone. I watched the bonus DVD with the Metal Gear Solid Five Chapter Fifty One plans. I know what children can do. Gosh, 
Part three is really good for one half and very okay the other half. I I kind of agree with that, Frankie. You're right. Pee-wee's Bizarre Adventure. Gosh. Pee-wee Herman tries to stop Dio Brando. How can I help you? Did you see someone suspicious? You told him that Naoto hasn't been coming to school lately and that you're worried. That kid is skipping school to do his investigation? What's his problem, really? The department has all but closed the case just because he's not satisfied. Sheesh. All we want to do is shut the book on this thing so we don't have to deal with it anymore. I wish he let it go already. No wonder the whole department treats him like a kid. Ooh, kid. He's getting all worked up over nothing. That's what everyone gives him the cold shoulder, you know? You learned something about Naoto. You should put together the information you've gathered. You regard to this investigation you've discovered that Naoto has obsession with the case. Has content for the culprit. Has duty to solve the case. I'd say obsession. That's a good question. You want an international travel story? I went to China with family, and the guy who invited us brought some fruit off a street vendor and that had been washed with local water and got malaria. <laughs> Ouch, that sucks. Third, then second. He has an obsession with the case. What do the police think of Naoto? Uh, they consider him a child. I mean, it's figured. It seems that Naoto has a fervent obsession with the investigation, but it seems that his obsession was not well received and the ch police treated him like a child. You think you understand Naoto a bit more. You should report to Reese's Pieces. Reese's Pieces. That's right. Alright, let's go to June's. Junez. Yes, let's all go to the court of meals. Is everyone here? Yes. All right, let's brace ourselves. Let's -a go. It's like I'm really flying into the TV. Reese's pieces sounds like you're talking about her lady part. I'm not though. <laughs> I'm trying to say pieces, but when you say Reese's, because that's Reese's thing, it you have to make it rhyme, and it doesn't work. Found any clues? Tell me quick. I'll find them in a jiffy. Jiffy peanut butter! That confirms it! She's made of peanut butter! I knew it! She is a Reese's Pieces. I knew it. Reese's uh, is Jif's answer to Reese's piece. Gosh. I can get really confused with this. Chat's mind is in the gutter. It, it is. They need to get it out. <laughs> Sometimes. But it makes for interesting conversation because that's when everyone gets riled up the most. Did you find yes, I told him about training like a child. And you explained now to his abnormal obsession to solve the case like a Sherlock Holmes. I see. Yep. So he's being stubborn about the case. Yep. But it seems like it's rare for Naoto-kun to get so worked up over something. After this, you have to play Sprung for the Nintendo 3DS. Get the chat real riled. What's Sprung? I felt like I've heard the name of that game before. Okay, I've got a good feel for him. I think I can do this. It won't take long for me to find him with my persona, so be ready to follow me once I do. Okay. We did it, Reddit, in funny gamer voice. <sighs> funny gamer voice? I'll try. Or launch window, at least. Let's see. What is this place? A scary place. It's all sci-fi. Hey, doesn't it remind you of those secret hideouts in live-action shows? Wow, Sprung looks like a game, all right. I just Googled it. Oh yeah, <laughs> I used to watch Featherman all the time when I was a kid. Featherman. I hear that those are really tough shoots. A lot of the actors do their own stunts, like jumping through fire themselves. I see. Well, it's every man's dream to do that stuff. I, I have to do the funny voice. I'm sorry. I just got so caught up on Sprung for Nintendo DS. Um, say we did it, read it in funny gamer voice. Common Rider and Sentai, but that's not Common Rider, it's Featherman. I like Common Rider. 
That's a Sentai? Well, then. Alright, I'll have to read your stinky thing. How funny of a voice are we talking? We, we did it, Rada. We did it. We did it, Rada. We did it. We did it, Rada. We did it. We did it. We solved the case, Reddit. I mean, sure. <laughs> I can't do Kermit. <laughs> Miss Piggy. <laughs> I could do, uh, I can't do Kermit. As a Redditor, I'm mildly amused, offended. That's a good Kermit. <laughs> Miss Piggy, you posted cringe. We did it, Reddit. <laughs> Something like that. Uh. Yeah, I can understand that. They're action based, like kung fu movies. Make it sound like Morty. Gosh, now you really, you really want me to do Morty from Rick and Morty? Are you serious? Gosh. Oh, jeez, Rick. Oh, I posted on Reddit. It was so funny. I got Reddit gold. We did it, Reddit. Uh. Morty. No. Morty, no, no, <laughs> that was embarrassing. And just the phrase secret hideout has this exciting ring to it. All right, Chie, whatever. I do not, that's a stupid response. I totally hear you. Actually, when I was a kid, I had my own secret place near the mountain by Yukiko's house. Neat. I'd pretend that a legendary kung fu master was teaching me special techniques. What the? Miss <laughs> Piggy, you posted crazy clip that. Oh my gosh. Got it all wrong. But hey, so this secret hideout thing, it came from Naoto's mind? Yeah. Uh, another funny voice redemption. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> in, in Morty's voice. <laughs> You're really pushing me. Ah. Uh, Everyone's redeeming these points. I can't believe it. I forgot this is a thing. Oh! <laughs> uh, I can't do it. Oh, I don't know! <laughs> Lenar Wall Bacon's at Midnight XD! More... Uh, Rick! Oh, jeez! Oh, Rick! Uh, oh, uh. I can't. Morty just sounds like he's just constipated all the time. I swear. I guess our proper boy detective isn't as grown up as he looks. This little boy detective's still a boy. Why do you think he's younger than us? He's just a boy. All right, let's get going. Let's find out Naoto is. You have pinpointed Naoto's location. All that's left to do is save him. You should prepare yourself for the upcoming rescue mission. I'm amused you said funny words. <laughs> wow, it is a secret base. Oh, frick, thanks for reminding me. I would have made the same mistake again. Yeah. Wait, what thing? I wasn't gonna read it in the funny voice, it's just I see it. <laughs> I don't know, I don't want to say we did it, we turned Persona 4 into a, a pickle, because if I if I do the Rick voice, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> that's gonna hurt me. I mean, no funny voice, I just... <laughs> reaction. I mean, reaction-wise, I'm just like, I don't want to even read it. it. It hurt me. I was like, no. Not hurt me in a bad way. Let's just give Matt like a 30 minute grace period. <laughs> I don't think that's possible. Hello. I can't have her on the team, that's right. She just shows up like Teddy now, I guess. Uh, Kanji, I had you last time. I'll get Chie, why not? Then Teddy. Alright. Rick voice, let's give Maddie a 30 minute grace period. And Rick's voice, frick off. Ugh! You redeemed it, so I have to. Hold on, let me equip something for Teddy before I forget. Because I forgot I had that room. Uh, Morty! Morty, we 
gotta give Matt a 30 minute grace period. 40. That hurt. <laughs> Unknown intruder uh, detected inside facility. Threat level yellow. Deploying guards inside the facility. Warning, warning. Attention intruders, leave the facility immediately. I repeat, leave the facility immediately. Huh? Intruders? That means us, right? I'm laughing way too hard. Dang it, Matt. <laughs> hey, you asked for it. You get. You you ask. You received with those points. So I hope you're happy. Yeah, we are the intruders. Oh, don't give long animations to this door. Come on. Ooh, a rare one. Don't let it get away. It's fine. Let's just bum rush these dudes. Beat it to a pulp. Keep going, guys. Alright, Frankie just said, I just realized Matt is a weeb. He's using a weeb sword. What a dork. <laughs> I'm playing a weeaboo video game. What do you expect me to do? Ouch. When are you going to play a cool game, a cool man's game like Call of Duty? I don't know. <laughs> Time to bum rush these dudes, puts on auto battle, absolutely. It's just, it's quicker than me just tapping A the whole time. Drop a topical nuke on these Glovers. I mean, look how much money, Yenny, I said Yenny, why? Yay! Yenny ah, yeah, is a palindrome. It is. <laughs> You're right. It is a palindrome. I almost said Zenny because we were talking to, uh, I watched uh, Chulip yesterday. Uh, Duber streaming Chulip. Hey, cool game by the way. If you've never uh, played it, check out Duker's stream. You'll be playing more Chulip tomorrow. Good stuff. A shadow. What the? Be careful. There's an ice immune enemy. Oh, ice immune? Hmm. Good to know. That one's totally weak. Better not lose. Weak. All right. It's no wall of ah, it's a no-brainer. I'm sh four of them. You need to thin them out. Uh... Come on! It's cool, I'm preparing a party. I probably did this all wrong. Nope. Isn't Zenny the currency in custom robo, or am I think? If it's in Chibi Robo, I would say that would 100% make sense, but I don't she think it is. Quick, she is gonna freaking die, is she? Z Zenny is universal in Sega and Capcom. Maybe. Try Agi. I do not have Agi. Mm. Haven't played Custom Robo in 20 years. I'm trying so hard to remember what this balance is called. Ayo! That works. Oh yeah, Yosuke heals now, right? I forgot, that was the last thing I did. Just whack. Okay, let's go. We gotta make sure we leave this dungeon with enough Yenny for the <laughs> Oendon outfits. Absolutely. Oh boy. 
scratching my chin, thinking where to go next. Oh, what the heck? This is a cool dungeon. I like how mecha it feels, even though it's more Super Sentai and whatever. Oh, these these losers. I'm glad Hulk Hogan finally came back for his big return. It's a strong one. Don't lower your guard. Okay. Three enemies left. You can win this. I hate you so much. What? What did I do? What did I do? Alright. Oh, Matt, I was looking through Camp Fangamer pictures last night with the anniversary and all and came across the, our ON Don results. That's right. We tied a lot. Gosh. We still need to do another match when this is all over. Trying everything but wind. Okay. Oh, and on rollback when? Also, Duper, why are you mad? What did I do? I didn't miss anything in chat, did I? I'm just being silly. Oh, okay. I don't know what was going on. I was like, what did I do? Your Hulk Hogan comment? <laughs> It is Hulk Hogan! Look at it! It's Hulk Hogan's, like, lower mouth and he has a mask over his face. It's clearly Hulk Hogan. I'm gonna venture outside come so gender stuff and try a girl cosplay as Paula. That'd be cool. Paula cosplays are neat. Only oh gosh! All right. Um, Yosuke Senpai, your health is really low. It sure is. <laughs> I want to write a Mother Three mod called Brother Three that replaces Lucas with Hulk Hogan. That'd be fun. Uh, you need it. I'm gonna cosplay Boney. Boney's a good cosplay. Here we go. Brother was almost the name of the game I'm working on, fun fact. I love a good bony cosplaying as a human cosplay. So no different than every day. I mean cosplay horse dupes. Yes, I leveled up! Yay. Chie Senpai, you're literally dying. No, watch this. We're, we're all good. It's all good. Be careful. There's an enemy immune to fire. Oh, immune to fire. How's about to do fire? Be careful not to run out of Game Boy Advance SP. How is your social link, Fox social link these days? I'm gonna, gonna be 100% honest, not good. <laughs> I haven't social linked with the Fox. I legit forgot you could social link with the Fox. Now that you brought it up, it's like, I legit forgot. I'm sorry. Oh, it's so important. Well, the game never really made it. Well, it is also my fault. It's just I'm trying to social link with everyone else. It's just the fox is the last thing. But don't apologize to chat. Apologize to yourself. I didn't know. The game never really indicates. It's like, hey, maybe you should do that. And I'm like, do I? Oh, well, whatever. I gotta sleep, work at 6 tomorrow. Yeah, go to bed if you need to, Frankie. Thanks for stopping by. I will be getting Hell Magnema. Ooh. They said the hell word. It's just handy once you get to a certain point. You can basically just always beat a dungeon in one day. Doesn't eat time. I see. 
hell in a Shin Megami Tensei game? This isn't the Shin Megami Ten. Well, it was, technically, if you want to get very technical. The title of it, when it came out on PS2, was Shin Megami Tensei Persona 4. But then they dropped the title later on, but... Since I'm playing Golden and it doesn't have the title, no, it's not a Shin Megami Tensei game. Shin Megami Tensei. Shin Megami Tensei. Shin Megami Tensei. Oh, Discord. Mabufu. Here we go. Oh no. Anime freeze! That didn't work. Ah, it's a no brainer. Okay, no brainer, you say. A no brainer, you say, okay. But you need to thin them out. Oh, I will. A <laughs> no-brainer. Then Matt can do it. You're right. I'm stupid enough to beat him. <laughs> Heat wave. What does Heat Wave do, I wonder? Medium physical damage to all enemies. Mm. Light physical damage? I don't need that. Gale Slash can get the heck out of here. Get the heck out of here. I'm realizing we didn't actually learn much about Shin Megami Tensei 5 other than it's coming in 20. That's exactly the point, and I think the less I know about SMT5, the better. It's because, more or less, it's the same trailer that first happened when they announced it. It was just, hey, here's a little bit of story, maybe. And it was more or less the same thing with this one. It was like, hey. Check Discord. Hold up. I gotta get some treasure. Gosh dang it! Oh, wait. Wait a minute. I'll, I'll, I'll rush these. I'll check Discord while I do auto battle. Beat it to a pulp! I don't know, here's the thing. Nocturne, I guarantee it will come out on time. SMT5, I guarantee it will probably get delayed. The more I think about it, SMT5 is gonna get mega delayed. Like, it's gonna upset everybody. Oh gosh, I should probably heal somebody. Oh, nice move, Yosuke Senpai. Alright. Uh, where in Discord? What are you talking about, dupes? Gosh dang it. I need to get someone that heals. Oh my gosh, just give me, uh, use my medicine kit, heal them. In general, complete in box, okay. Oh wow. That's blooper and freaking! Oh my gosh, that's the that's the Catherine cosplay. That's really good. That's a really good cosplay. Good job. That's really good. I didn't get any money from that. That was a waste of battle. I hate it. I got one go home. Got it. Oh boy, an advantage. Hmm, watch it. That one's immune to fire. Good, good thing you told me before I attacked. Yeah, help out. Mm. 
Hooray! She bound to run out of scooters. Okie dokie, let's see here. Careful, it's immune to electricity. Good thing I'm using ice. Take Yikes, it's tough. Never mind. the stream uh hey what's up man what? I can't defeat it. it's because they're raising your defenses stinky uh there we go uh, oh that's not good they, they sure have Yeah, I'm better off just using regular attacks, am I? Let's wait. I gotta heal, maybe. Oh well. Let's... Yeah, I'm better off just regularly attacking, but probably not the best idea. Wait, are they immune to fire? That one's totally weak. Better not. Three okay. enemies left. It's, it's probably not going to work in my favor, but we'll see. All that worked once. Please heal me, I beg of you. He'll be healed, don't you worry. I'm actually really tired, but I'm fine. Decided to follow your channel for once. IDK, how I hadn't realized you streamed. I mean, I, I tweet about it often, but I can understand if people don't get the memo the first time. I'm also feeding myself a bit of SMT. Same. Like, I'm considering playing a SMT4, like, off-stream before I go to bed, because I got, like, my 3DS set up. Like, I got, like, all my 3DS stuff together now, so... I'm considering me. to start SMT personally. Smoothie milkshake trauma. <laughs> yes, Justin, that's it. You got it. But yeah, I've been streaming like every other day. It's just I make like tweets about it and stuff, but some people don't find it and I, I totally get why because Twitter has like a stupid algorithm. So I totally get it. Some moose to <laughs> Justin, I'm not reading that. <laughs> it was funny, but I'm not reading it. The Clash of a Generation. I want to play SMT4, but I don't want to let myself get distracted from Death Stranding. I'm finally going to get that game. Yeah, I need to finish Death Stranding too, so... I mean, with all the hype of SMT, I want to play, like... Because I have SMT1, 2, I have Nocturne on my PS3, I got 4, I got all the other SMT... I even got some of the spinoff, like I got um, Shin Megami Tensei Strange Journey Redux, I got Devil Survivor, like... I I have the games, it's just I need to No, what am I doing? Icebreak is nullifies. Hold on. Uh I don't think I need that. I never use it. I'm heavily considering getting SMT3, maybe it will be my next JRPG. Yeah, I'm at least a little bit I played in what everyone recommends. SMT Nocturne, or the third SMT game is like really good. <laughs> Everyone's like Careful. different ways to say SMT is very funny. Chat, you're you're a hoot and a holler tonight. That's all I'm gonna say. Come on. Oh boy. 
I mean, that could be the next game I stream. Maybe I'll stream a blind playthrough of Nocturne or whatever. Yeah! Streaming at blind would be fun. I was considering it, but I think I kind of want to take a break after uh, Persona 4 Golden. I don't want to stream a long Shin Megami Tensei game. I'll give it a break. Because I know later down I want to stream Persona 3, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. There's a, there's a lot on my plate. Or just, like, ideas. But for now, I gotta focus on just getting Persona 4 out of the way. Persona 3 Fez stream would be cool. I mean, I know a lot of you guys really like Persona 3 Fez. I, I would be- I wouldn't mind streaming it. So, like, I think it's gonna be- it would be a fun game. Yeah, but I know I'm gonna probably want to do some one-off streams. Not bad, partner. Because I know, um, after this, I want to stream Wild Woody as a joke. It's gonna be a one-off stream. I will definitely stream Wild Woody. I have means to do so, but goodness gracious, that's gonna be a mess of a stream. I'm excited for that. Um, there'll be Wild Woody. What else is there? I got, like, other games I could just easily play through. I might consider Pokemon Snap. I'm definitely considering that, because I'm very excited for the new uh, Pokemon Snap game to come out. And I can get through that game pretty quickly, so that will only take, like, a few streams, so... Pokemon Snap would be a big one. So, yeah. Other than that... Wind? Okay, we're, we're good, then. I'm already almost low on SP with the MC, or me. Why can't I hold all these video games? Oh, no. Go, senpai, you rock. Come on. Oh, there's so many video games coming out. I heard Nocturne is bonkers difficult, but I think I'd be down for the challenge. I already have beaten a couple Dragon Quests. I want to get the SMT trade. Yeah, I need to... That's another game I need to finish, is uh, Dragon Quest XI. Because I finished Dragon Quest 1, 2, and 3. And... Gosh, it's so good. I, I love the Dragon Quest games. And I really want to finish 11. Dragon Quest 9? I love Dragon Quest 9. I played it uh, when it came out on launch on DS. I never beat it, but the progress I made, and just like doing Wi-Fi connection stuff and playing with friends, it is so much fun. I love that game. I'm sad I never beat it, but Dragon Quest 9 is it is great. I love that game. Kinda hate finally getting into a classic series like I did with Persona SMT, because now it's like great, now I have to make time to get through this whole series. <laughs> I mean, luckily with most SMT games and Persona, they don't follow, like, a linear story, so you can just kind of choose one, and then if you want to play another one in the series, you can. But that's about it, really. Dragon Quest IX immediately made me think of Dragon Quest IX commercials with those kids from Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. No, the commercials I think about with Dragon Quest IX is, uh, with, uh, Seth Green. He's just in, like, random, like, moments, and he's just like, I, I wear this, what do you choose? And then it's just, like, weird, sh like, robot chicken antics or whatever. Not so much. But I remember the Seth Green commercials very well. But yeah, I need to finish the new Dragon Quest game, because I, I got to the part where I met Silvando, and gosh dang it, he's a great character. He's a freaking great character. Silvando is amazing. I'm excited to play more. Oh wait, it's down one, that's right. Basement four. Uh, Beyonce playing Rhythm Heaven. <laughs> well, that's where I am at. We're at the same place in Dragon Quest? Oh my gosh. Attention intruders, leave the facility immediately. I repeat, leave the facility. Does this mean Natsuko doesn't want our help? I don't really get it, but let's go on for now. Yeah. Because here's the thing, I bought Dragon Quest XI twice. Uh, because what I ended up doing was, um, what was it? Whoa there. That one's immune to ice. I bought the PC version, I made a good way progress, and I bought the Switch version, and I played through the demo of how far you could get. But then I kept playing more, and then I was just like, I'll get back to it, and I stopped at like almost the same place I did the previous times. I am low on SP, shoot. 
I was invited to a DSi launch party for Press back in the day, and the marketing was a lot of fun. Oh, Press event. Nice. Please be a motorcycle, Yosuke. Oh. Okay. Alright, Yosuke. I think I told this story on stream before. Uh, what is it? Maybe. It's just, I remember there was a time uh, Ghost Trick was coming out for the Nintendo DS. And I entered into like a little like shirt raffle. They were showing off a shirt that they were making. And it's like, hey, um, win this shirt. And it was very funny because I was like, cool, I want the shirt. So I had to write like a small review about, what was it? I had to write a small review about the demo I played for Ghost Trick. And I was just like, I like Ghost Trick because this, this, and this, and this. And after a while, like, I reached out and I did my thing. I won that contest. And I was like, wow, that's really cool. I, I won something. So they're like, okay, send your information and stuff and we'll send you the t-shirt. Uh, congrats on the thing. I was like, that's awesome. I get to get a Ghost Trick t-shirt. A month goes by, I get nothing. No notification, nothing. I tried messaging him again. The game was out by then. I didn't get a single response back. And I kept bothering him, no response. So, in conclusion, Capcom never gave me my Ghost Trick shirt. So, that, that kind of stung and hurt a bit, but you can't win them all. You can't win them all. The real Ghost Trick was your shirt was a ghost. Was that your shirt was a ghost? Yeah, probably. It, it, it just sucked, because I really, I really, really wanted to... Oh wait, it's immune to ice. What am I freaking doing? I'm an idiot. I was not paying attention. I was so, I was so invested in my ghost trick story, I had to say it. That is SP down the drain. I did some idiot moves right there. Screw it, just... I'm just gonna heal everyone. Have you stocked up on tap soda? No, I don't think I have. I know I have some stuff that can heal SP. I just need to actually do it. I, th I know I have some items I can keep going. But yeah, if I ever somehow in my in my weird career of life, if I end up at Capcom, I have the uh, the chat still saved on like Facebook or something because this was like a Facebook contest that Capcom did. So if I ever meet Capcom, I'm going to pull out that chat and be like, "Hey, you still owe me a T-shirt, Capcom," and I want to know how that conversation goes. Excuse me, Mr. Capcom, more like Crapcom. <laughs> Gosh. <sighs> Wait, what am I looking for? That's right. 200 HP! I'm not wasting that. Snuff Soul, 50. That's not enough SP. Yosuke needs some, but I need more. And it's gone. I should have probably bought more. If Capcom is so good, why is there no Leon S. Kennedy in Smash? <laughs> that's not up to Capcom, that's... That's up to Nintendo. To ask them, and they'll be like, "Please, can we have Mr. We on as Kennedy for Super Watch Smash Brothers? I beg of you." My beloved excuse. <laughs> Ayo. Hey, How is I not using Rampage Watch? Pyramid Head for Smash. Konami wouldn't allow it. They'd be too angry. They'd be pissed off. This, okay, real talk. A character I would like in Smash. I I just straight up want just Sakurai to be like, hey Kojima, you're in Smash, and he'll be like, oh my gosh. It'd be funny. Not really, but it'd be an experience to say the least. Jack Frost for Smash. I'd like that. I would love Jack Frost for Smash. He'd be my favorite character. I would main him and I would never play as anyone else. 
But more than anything, if you really want to consider it, it's, um... What is it? Uh, the character for uh, Nocturne, he could be in Smash. That, that would make sense. It would help boost sales, but we'll see. I think I remember this one guy on the forum owed me $11 for several years because of a giveaway of his. I don't remember if he ever gave them to me. <laughs> that sucks. Uh, it's, it's weird when it's like, hey, you're either owed or like something, but it never comes through. It sucks. Which first party character that we don't already have would you want in Smash? Someone who could actually make it to a first party character. Um, what was it? Uh, Ayumi Tachibana from um, the Famicom Detective Club. Because Sakurai said he considered putting her in Smash, like, forever ago. Like, they considered it, but they didn't. But I'm just like... Nintendo's working on a new, like, remake, like a remaster of the Famicom Club Detective games. You might as well just put Ayumi Tachibana in the game. Like, just do it. Lit from Panel to Pond, that would be good too. Because now more people are... Honestly, Lit from Panel to Pond and Ayumi Tachibana would be good choices. I would love those. The guy from White 2 he's not a first party. Here, try again. Oh, Kyle Hyde! I would love Kyle Hyde, even though it's like... No, it's still a Nintendo Party. That's right! Kyle Hyde would be cool. Just give me all the cool mystery characters. I would love that. What else? Because, aside from first party, uh, the big ones I would love is, um... Phoenix Wright and Smash, obviously. That's like my always go-to answer. If it's like, Capcom could do something, what would I like? I'd be like, oh, Phoenix Wright, just throw him in there. I mean, more people would probably be like, oh, what about uh, Danganronpa? I'm like, no, Phoenix Wright's been in a fighting game. Unless Danganronpa characters have been in fighting games, then I'm way out of the loop, because I don't know anything about that series, but... Hey, Professor Layton Phoenix Wright, put him in the game. If Capcom, Beautiful Joe... Here's the thing, I love Beautiful Joe. I have one and two on GameCube. I freaking love Beautiful Joe. And Beautiful Joe was also in uh, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Like, I would love those, don't get me wrong. It's just... Uh, it's just the choices you have to make and like the limited amount of like character slots there are left for this game. It's just... It's hard to choose. Because my big choices are Ayumi Tachibana, Phoenix Wright, Professor Layton, and they're all like visual novel games, which is not really mega fair because... Everyone else will just be like, oh, but what about Gino? And it's like, don't get me wrong, I like Gino too. King of Hearts from Clubhouse Games, imagine. Like that one's immune to wind. Yeah, I would love Gino too. Like, I can understand why people don't want it, but it's just... To really give the respect to the Mario RPG thing, like, you have to get, like, a Super Mario RPG. Rayman, hey, Rayman, that's good. Rayman would be cool. I would like Rayman, not gonna lie. I think more people need to learn about Rayman. Like, definitely. I would love that. Any Golden Sun care? Gosh, imagine! Even though, like, go the last Golden Sun game wasn't, like, too hot or anything, but... Dang it, dude, I would... I would like a new Golden Sun game. And the thing is, it's really cool, because, like, Camelot helped out... King Frost, you've, you've redeemed yourself. But anyway, um... But yeah, 1 and 2 are great games, and I think, like, a remaster or something, because I know Camelot, like, they do, uh, I think they did the Mario Golf games and, like, some WarioWare stuff. I would love for, like, Camelot to, um, make another RPG, but I would love it, in, like, if they made, like, a Wario-themed, like, RPG game. Like, I say this a bunch, but not a lot of people talk about it, but imagine a Wario comedy RPG kind of game. I would play that so freaking hard. Because the idea of a comedy Wario RPG where you can have, like, like, Master of Disguise, kind of. But you can have, like, like a party, a team with all, like, the characters you have from Diamond City. Yeah, like, RPG. Because you can have, like, Ashley on your team, you can get, like, uh, Kat and Anna, or just, like, literally any of the fun, vast characters in WarioWare. To make, like, a cutesy, fun, funny, goofy RPG would be awesome. But, we'll, we'll see how... Deals medium wind damage. One foe. This is all foes. 
medium physical. Uh, I don't need to do power slash much. I think our, someone else has it. Diamond City would make a great RPG setting. It would! And I've been playing uh, WarioWare Golden. Or, WarioWare Gold. I'm almost done with that. I've been playing that on my spare time. It's a, it's a good old time. Sonic Punch we don't need. Yeah, I don't need Sonic Punch. Yeah, we good. Yes, I leveled up. You did. I have pondered a couple of times the idea of Wario in a Dim Wario game in Diamond City, in which suddenly the city gets raided by Captain. Sir Gosh, imagine. The thing is, Nintendo has so many like unique like side stories, properties, and stuff they could just do with, like, the vast amount of creativity they were able to get with those games. It's like, man, imagine how cool it would be to get more games that feature those characters, but, I don't know, that interview about, like, the new Paper Mario thing, just of, like, the the recent changes that Atanabe wanted to do, it's like, I kind of get it, but also at the same time, it's just kind of like, I don't understand how that mindset kind of works. Like, I'm not there to, like, put him on, like, an altar to just to, like, rag at him, just like, oh, he's awful, burn him at the stake. No, it's not like that, because it's like... I just wish Nintendo would really consider, like... I think, the thing is, they say they listen to their fans, and the thing is, I do believe that to some degree. It's just, there's some aspects where I just really question, like, why they make certain decisions, like, why they do that, but... Like I said... Yeah, we got Banjo. That's great, but it's just... Nintendo's like that kid who has, like, so much potential to just reach. Like, they, they do great things, it's just they don't reach the full extent of it, you know? It's like, they can do things, and it's like, oh, this thing there, this thing there. They're capable. They just don't take the advantage. Like, if that makes sense. That persona sounded like soda. <laughs> Thank you, Blooper. Welcome to the stream. Society, if we got GameCube too. <laughs> no, it's just, I have really... The thing is, I love Nintendo. It's like my favorite like company. They make really cool and interesting games. It's just, there's so much they could do, but they don't do it. And I'm sure they have their reasons for it, but I just wish they were a lot more transparent about why they don't. But you can't have everything you want. You, you can't have everything you want. It sucks, but what can you do? <sighs> uh, Rare was incredible. I like part, like party chat. Yeah, party chat. Okay. They're very stinky with their IPs. I mean, yeah. I mean, Chibi Robo. I don't want to talk about Chibi Robo. That hurts me the most. This lab is where they're secretly inventing GameCube 2. They're keeping GameCube 2 a secret until Sega announces Dreamcast 2. <laughs> Gosh, chat, you are... Yeah, you're, you're getting some good good chuckles out of me. Hey, two more, no items. Got it, let's try that. Alright, fine. That's a lot of money. Pazuzu! Kiho, he leveled up. I think the whole Paper Mario. All oh, right, I just learned Chibi Robo got a sequel in Japan only. Yep, yep, exactly. I think the whole Paper Mario thing is Shiggy uh, getting touchy with the idea of intelligent systems spinning too much from his own IP, and I think Nintendo EPD put legal boundaries so it so intelligent software wouldn't cash out on making characters based on their core property. I mean. Oh wait, Chibi Robo Secret. Oh, Park Patrol. Yeah, Park Patrol did come out for DS. I, I thought you were talking about something else. My mind is like blowing. Happy reach. Yeah, because yeah, there is there was a sequel. No, not Park Patrol. Paw Patrol for DS. Gosh, chat is blowing up right now. Just like E3 1999. Yeah, I do agree with that whole uh, incentive, uh, dude. Uh, Mono dude, because I probably pronounced that name wrong. I'm so sorry, but. Yeah, it's just, Miyamoto, like, yeah, I respect, like, his idea for, like, legacy stuff. Here's the thing with Breath of the Wild. 
um, with current stuff. I remember that it was mostly just um, Ayanuma, I think? He was working on that game mostly. He got input from Miyamoto, and when they went to like show it to him, he, Miyamoto didn't really have much input other than he climbed the tree and said, this is cool, keep going, and then left. Like, most of Breath of the Wild was with younger developers' help, just like input and just making it like the best Zelda they could. I mean, granted, there's a lot of people that don't like Breath of the Wild, and I kind of semi sort of get it. I know that it's not a perfect game, but gosh dang, it was like probably one of my favorite like experiences I played in like a long time. Like, Zelda Breath of the Wild is fun. I love that game. It was like one of my favorite experiences when that when that game was. The thing is, the intelligent system is a pretty track, a, a pretty good track record with doing good crap with IPs. Um, wait, before I give intelligent systems too much credit, didn't they make Codename Steam? Because I only played a bit of it and I thought it was okay. I don't know if that game did mega well. I thought it was okay, but Abraham Lincoln for Smash, absolutely. Because I was like, yeah, Intelligent Systems did codename Steam. I know that game didn't do so hot. You liked codename Steam? Okay, that's good. Because not... It did awful. It's just not a lot of people talked about it, whether if it was a good game or not. Like, I played the demo, and I was like, I kind of get it. But it didn't, like, engage me as much. Also, they did... It doesn't feel like a Nintendo game. I mean, I figured... The advertisements for the game was funny because once people learned, like, yeah, Abe Lincoln's in this game, everyone's like, wait a minute. Abe Lincoln. So stubborn. A video game for a Cartoon Network show that didn't exist. Really? I mean, with a title like Codename Steam, that makes so much sense. Because I think Codename Kids Next Door. It was a good show. I enjoy. I respect Ayanuma a lot for locking horns against Shiggy plenty of times instead of just submitting. Yeah, absolutely. Like, Ayanuma, he does a freaking great job. I Like, I'm happy he's, like, helping direct, like, the Zelda games and, like, do stuff. Because I know... No, even with um, Link's Awakening, if we really want to get deep into it, it's like... Link's Awakening, not... Shigeru Miyamoto didn't really have much input either. It was, um... Heck, what was that guy? He helped with Mario Odyssey. I'm, I'm forgetting names right now. It's just like, it was like a small sort of team at Nintendo just wanted to see if they could make a Zelda game on Game Boy. Frick, I love Link's Awakening. Koizumi! Yeah, Koizumi. That's who it is. It's just... Gosh, I love Link's Awakening. So much. I, I love everything about Link's Awakening. I will gush about that game. Even the remake, because I played a good chunk of the Game Boy one, but I never beat it. I remember... Before I started streaming more often, I there were people that came around. I'm not sure if anyone is in the chat who remember those days. I was streaming um, the original Link's Awakening, and I made it pretty far. I got to the point where the game tells you, like, hey, this is all a dream. And I was like, oh, gosh. It freaked me out because that was a really interesting twist, even though I think someone may have spoiled it. But, but yeah, I streamed it forever ago. But then when the remake came out, I was like, well, I'll just play through the remake. And... Just as equally, like, after that and then going back to the original, great games. I, I freaking love them. Let me just heal everyone. Let me just do it. It's a very artful... It is an artful game. Like, it really... it ins That game inspired me to write down a lot of ideas for, like, my own kind of ideas for games. It's just... I feel like everyone, whenever Link's Awakening is mentioned, it's always, I'm inspired by that game. It's an inspiring, like, game to, like, make your own kind of thing, because the story is... Or, sorry, Squid mentioned something. Koizumi has been at Nintendo since the early days, and I love that they made him the public face of the Switch because nobody thought he would put in the public eye because of his uh, Twitch tick and stuff. Really? Yeah, Koizumi's cool. I, I, I really... I admire his work. Like, I know some people... I don't know. I don't know a lot about opinions. I know one person who wasn't particularly fond of Super Mario Odyssey. They didn't like it. I mean, it wasn't a bad game, but they didn't like it. But... I'm gonna go out and say, like, Mario Odyssey was just a Mario game I didn't expect that I would enjoy as much as I did. Like, even though I was like, oh, I can collect all the the moon stuff later, I was just like, man. I rushed through, I beat the game, it was just so much darn fun. I, I would just gush about that game. 
Just screw it, I'm not gonna use wind. I'm just gonna back just these boys. Hold Come up. on, this fight's not over. I know, I'm just gonna use this. Link's Awakening was the first game I played where the whole plot really undermines uh, itself. It's all a dream. And that makes you realize you can really do anything you want with your creations. It's really inspiring that way. Yeah, exactly. And then learning afterwards, because I, I was really into Twin Peaks uh, when that first hit Netflix. I think when I found out about it, I was like, oh, I'm interested in what Twin Peaks may be. And then I heard that Twin Peaks was a huge inspiration that helped uh, with Link's Awakening story. I was like, hey, it's cool stuff. Going back to Ayanuma, if I remember correctly, he made Majora's Mask pretty much out of spite because Shigi, uh, Shigi was sure he wouldn't be able to make a Zelda game. Yeah, it was a challenge. He was like, there was like a time, he set like a certain limit to like get it done, and he did, and it was impressive. I like how Link is baby. <laughs> yeah. Koholin is one of the Twin Peaks. <laughs> Twin Peaks was also a huge inspiration for Persona. I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt that at all. Uh, what was it? I remember when I visited um, Keiichi Suzuki. Gosh, I mentioned this before, but I, I think I'm sure I mentioned this in the stream. But it sounds like I'm repeating myself. But since we're all here, um, at um, Keiichi Suzuki's office, he had like Twin Peaks memorabilia. Like he had figures of them. Like he had a figure of Laura Palmer wrapped in like the bag, and he just had it like that everywhere. He had um. Like, the movie Metropolis, I think the vinyl soundtrack or something. Like, he had so much pop culture stuff in his office, and it was just filled to the brim with, like, music movies. It was just, you can tell that he was really invested in, like, whatever media he consumed, he, he put it in his work, and you could absolutely tell. The whole GameStop. No, the only games I saw were, like, old Famicom stuff. He had Mother 3, like, the deluxe box with the Game Boy Micro and everything. And we asked him, oh, what'd you think of Mother 3? He was like, oh, I never played it. And I was like... No, I know the last game he played, too. This didn't make it into the interview for Mother to Earth. The last game he played was Princess Maker. I think me and Quincy looked at each other, because when how he described the game, we're like, that sounds like Princess Maker. And he was like, yeah, that was the last game he played. Yeah, he doesn't really play much anymore. <laughs> but it was cool to know that. It was really cool. Hey, Senpai, when Naotokun appeared on the Midnight Channel, he said he was going to undergo a body alteration operation. Did that mean Naotokun is going to be altered here? You mean like a mecha? Is Naotokun going to turn into a robot? Crap, we need to hurry. He wanted to be the Super Sentai he always wanted to be. Oh, gosh. Give me the bash. Don't let it get away. Keep at it, Teddy. <sighs> but yeah, I'm, I'm thinking a lot about like just everything with Nintendo. It's just like I love them. They have a rich kind of history. It's just they're not very keen about talking about it for some reason, which I don't blame them. But there was a book I think. Yes, Quincy recommended me this book because I was wanting to read more about, like, video game history and stuff. What is it? Let me pick it out because I need to finish this book still. I'm probably losing this battle. No, I'm fine. Uh, Teddy's gonna die. No, I hope not. Okay, I found the book. It's called uh, Game Over. It's written by David Sheff. Um, I'm pretty sure people have read this, but it's a whole book about, like... The start of history of Nintendo, you know, because it goes into like the very early stages of like what evidence there is of like when Nintendo was a card company. They talked about um, uh, Hiroshi Yamaguchi a bunch about like their family and then how some of them branched up to come to help shape up what Nintendo of America was. I'm not finished with the book. I'm like barely halfway through, but it is a very like detailed kind of like uh, how can I explain this? I don't know, it's like a very, it's like a story, you're just witnessing kind of like a documentary, but it's also like a mini-series thing, you're kind of reading about how Nintendo started up, and you get to learn more about like the people who helped start out Nintendo of America, even, um, what was it, Howard? Yeah, Howard, he, he was mentioned in it too. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I have nothing to kill me, I'm just gonna rush it. One enemy to go, keep it up! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Use an item, screw it. Oh, 
<laughs> Nestor from Nestor's Funky Boy. Okay, Squid mentioned, my favorite thing about Nintendo, honestly, is that they are incredibly self-aware about how their games all have a dark side to them, they actually, inside the company, call the dark side of Nintendo, like, they know their games are for kids, but not really for kids. I'll get strong too. Yeah, the thing about Howard, uh, what was his last name, it was just, because the last, last year when I was at, um, uh, Portland Retro Game Expo, yeah, Howard Phillips, I keep forgetting his name, it's just, it, I have so many stories about uh, Portland Retro Game Expo where it's just weird. I've got stories to tell. When we set up the Mother to Earth booth, I was helping out those guys because we were screening the movie. That was, and if you were in my Discord server, that's how I had met Arlo, and I know the deep dark secrets of the Blue Muppet who hates every Paper Mario game. Not a bad dude. Hung out with Arlo, cool guy. Great guy to be around. Super chill. Um, but yeah. Uh, we were there, and we were talking about the movie, and we're like, hey, yeah, this is gonna happen and stuff, and then Howard Phillips showed up to our booth, and I recognized who it was, I saw it, and I completely just stopped, and I'm like, that's Howard Phillips, that's Howard Phillips, and then everyone else was like, what? And I was like nudging at J-Bone and like Evan and everyone else there, and they're like, oh my gosh, it's Howard Phillips. He came up, and it's like, so, you did a, uh, interview about, uh, Earthbound, huh? And we're like, yeah, we've interviewed people. And he was like, you know what? I'm gonna put you to the test. I'm gonna try to put in like the Nintendo seal quality to see if you got your info wrong. That was the scariest moment like I've ever witnessed of Howard Phillips. It's like, so you think you know Earthbound? I'm like, uh, don't, Howard, you're embarrassing me. It was it was pretty scary. But oh hey Orange, oh crab, the, you hosted me. Thanks for the host. Super nice of you. Yeah, I'm talking about my story of how, how Howard Phillips scared uh, me, J-Bone, and the entire Mother Earth team. It was, it was scary. What's Earthbound? Yeah, Howard Phillips is like, hey man. Huh? Is it my Hold turn? It. Yeah, let's use your turn. What? Yeah, so after that, luckily after that whole thing, Howard was like, you know what? Your info's correct. He, he gave us the, his, even though he didn't work at Nintendo anymore, he gave us like a Nintendo like seal of approval, so we're like, oh good, we, we got away with it. <laughs> so, luckily we didn't have to like change anything with the movie before the screening. And then after that, Todd Howard, no, Howard Phillips, we were approved by Nintendo. <laughs> no, because after that, when we were hanging around the booth, um, Marcus Lindblom just showed up out of nowhere right after. Like, after he showed up, he was just like, So, Earthbound, huh? And we're like, we freaking know who you are! So we talked to him for two hours about Earthbound localization stories and stuff. And he was such a chill dude. And he would just, like, talk to us, like, personally. We got, like, photos with him, and he was gonna show up to watch the documentary that night. Gosh, he was so cool. I didn't expect to, like talk to him at all and then the next day he stopped the thing is we didn't go out to find him he just came to us and we just talking to him in general he he is a cool dude we got like his info and email and stuff so like i'm hoping we can do more stuff with him soon but how it's just cool cool stuff oh that's not good darkness won't work oh, we're not using darkness we're good i wonder if marcus could beat plo's hard shooting <laughs> that's a good question i don't know <laughs> If, if that, if he could, I wouldn't, I think he could. Maybe. I, the, no more I think about it, it's either maybe or maybe not, because there's, we'll see. We'll get Marcus and Steve into one room. Yeah, man. I'd love that. Uh, what else? After that, oh, <laughs> this one's gonna come to a shock, but... Uh, Everyone knows how there's like certain YouTubers that are like, you shouldn't talk about them at all. <laughs> I didn't get to see him personally, but Evan got a photo with this guy and everyone started to freak out. And then once people caught aware, like were aware that this guy was at the convention, he was just gone. No, not PewDiePie. It was, um, <laughs> what's this face? It was funny because I went to go get uh, lunch. Uh, have you actually met Arlo? Yeah, he's a cool dude. I like Arlo. And he actually knows uh, our producer, or one of the directors, our cameraman in the movie. Um, he's friends with a uh, Christian. So, like, they, they know each other personally. Like, he didn't care much about Arlo's channel, but he knows who he is as a person, so they're like close buddy buddies. So, 
Yeah, connections. It's freaking weird. Anyway, um, the YouTuber in mind, if people don't mind, it's like, I don't know why he showed up at the convention. This was like still when his allegations were going on too, so he was stupid to do that. It was, um, I'm pretty sure everyone knows this, but no one cares about him because he's a, he's a stupid dingus. Um, it was, uh, Pro Jared. It was Pro Jared at the con. I don't know why he went there, but, but Evan got a photo with him and was just like, hey, Pro Jared just showed up. And I'm like, why did you get a photo with him? It was so bad. And then afterwards, more people caught, more people caught wind that he was there. And he was... He was gone, and I'm like, of course you're gonna be gone. You were like, no one liked him. It was terrible. <laughs> Tony Hawk's pro Jared. <laughs> yeah, I think I did maybe see him, but he was like gone. We didn't see him right after that. We're just like, he completely like dipped. I don't know why he thought it was a good idea to go to Portland Retro Game Expo, but he was there. Oh, idiot. Arlo is actually how I got Splatoon 2 European Sound Sludge and Vinyl, which is like one of the rarest. Yes, the Splatoon Vinyl! That Splatoon Vinyl is very freaking rare, you're right. Uh, maybe not that, though. But yeah, be careful when you're at cons, because for some reason... No, because every con I go to... What does the pro and pro Jared mean? I don't know. Uh... Pretty stupid. Pretty stupid. Yeah, that's what the pro. Like, pro bass shops. No, just pretty stupid. Stupid dude. Pro ga He's not a pro gamer anymore. He's out of there. It was originally sent here. I would rather meet again with my ex before meeting Pro Chair. No, I'm lucky I didn't meet. Like, if I would have seen him, I would have been very uncomfortable. I would have been mega uncomfortable if I was up to Pro Jared. I know, um... Oh, what was it? Evan and I... We were trying to talk with Ant Dude. Because Ant Dude and, like, Evan were, like, super close. But I remember I would just talk to them, like, on and off. But for some reason... <laughs> what was it? Um, Ant Dude was being stalked the whole time at Portland Retro Game Expo when he went to go for dinner. And he was legitimately, like, pissed off at, like, people just stalking him. And I'm just, like... It, it was a weird experience. It was just freaking weird. It... Oh, here's a MAGFest story. This has nothing to do with uh, Portland Retro Game Expo, because I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna just tell all these stories. Because I remember I met, like, Ant Dude and, like, most of the other stuff. I even met um, Nathaniel Bandy. Like, um, we had a friend. Um, well, we st he's still our friend. He's just busy these days. He, he finished his intern work at Adult Swim. His name is uh, Matt Manheimer. He used to go under the the Tales channel, you, the YouTube channel. Uh, uh, what was it? Tales something. It was. It's a Sonic YouTube channel. That's all you need to know. Um, Squid said, honestly, did you watch Pro Jared's rebuttal video? The situation's a lot more complex. I did watch the rebuttal video, but I still didn't care. Like, it's it's a mess. So I just don't want to associate with that at all. But. At MAGFest, uh, we talked with Matt Manheimer, uh, just talking about, like, YouTube parties and whatever, and for some reason he was just like, hey guys, um, you can come to the YouTube party, and I was like, are you sure about that? So, somehow he was able to sneak us into this YouTube party at MAGFest, and when we went in, Evan and I dressed up as, um, pizza chefs, <laughs> because we were cosplaying, we did a cosplay together where we were, uh, Peppino from, uh, Pizza Tower. By the way, if you haven't tried the demo for Pizza Tower, please, please play it. It's very good. So yeah, we dressed up as Pepino, and we went into the YouTube party, and we just went in just like where all the food was, and we saw all these people just like hanging around doing whatever. And then all of a sudden, like, we would just take these empty pizza boxes and run around, because we found them in like a lobby and we we're pretending to deliver pizzas. And then there was like... All these people just kind of in their own circles doing their own thing. And I think I saw Jules, um, Family Jules there. Yeah, he, he was just being the music man. Cool guy. I didn't talk to him much, but um, what was it? Dude, it stunk so bad in there. Like, holy crap, you can't imagine how bad it stinks in there. It was... It was at the karaoke room, the bar. You could just smell this huge waft of B.O. in there. It was just so bad. 
And I I just couldn't get over just how everyone stunk so bad. So then, after that, we were just, like, messing around. So Evan and I dressed up as Pepino. We were just walking around just going, Hey, pizza! And then everyone just thought we actually had more pizza. And then people were just giving us confused looks of, like, Who are these people? Why are you here? And then I remember I saw Nathaniel Bandy, and I was just like, Hey, I know you're in Mario 64 videos. But he kind of gave me the cold shoulder, and I was just like, wow, you're kind of a dingus. So I just left him alone, because I was just like, oh well. I bet he doesn't know how to, like, talk to just a regular person who was a fan, which I, I don't blame him, but still, he was just kind of a, a dingus about it. But no ill will is just... I bet he can't even do a half A press. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Uh, it's, uh, weird stuff, but... Overall, YouTube parties are interesting. If you ever have a chance to go to, um, treat it like it's the Discovery Channel, like you're watching people. D don't interact with a whole lot of people. But there's some people that are cool and some that you don't. Okay, I don't want to ruin the story time, but can we avoid the name Pepino because, like, weird stuff? Okay, yeah, no worries. We'll just say Pizza Tower. Totally fine. Thanks for bringing that up. The day Orange takes me to a con for Mother Forever is the day my social anxiety goes into maximum overdrive. No, like, for real. Like, cons are fun, but given how the circumstances we are now, I think I'd be fine not going for a con for a while. Like, I love going to MAGFest, because I have, like, friends that can help me go to, like, backstage and just do some weird stuff. And by weird stuff, it's more like, I see, like, I can go help at, like, tables or just, like, go to the arcade games and just stuff like that, but... Overall, I don't really do anything too crazy. I think the only fun thing to do with the group of friends I have at MAGFest, because I think the magic was always, um... We go to the, uh, the soapbox room. That's what it was. Uh, where people just like rant and say kind of whatever on like an actual soapbox with a microphone. So Evan would just get us all together just to chill there and just watch people make fools of themselves. And we would just get up on stage and just say whatever we felt like. And I remember Evan just put me on the spot to be like, hey Matt, say a story. And I'm like, okay. And I didn't know what to do. So I just, it, it's just a list of just being embarrassing and just having fun with each other. It was fun. But yeah, MAGFest is fun. I always make a lot of good friends at MAGFest. I don't go to the concerts much, but I always like to play the arcade games. The one thing I missed the last time I was there uh, was F-Zero, the, ar the arcade F-Zero game. Because, oh my gosh, I wanted to play it and, um, what was, what's his name? Oh, what was the artist's name? I talked to him and we we've been pretty buddy, buddy, buddy. What is his name? I have to look up his Twitter. He streams. He's he was he was in the Starman.net. I'm trying to remember his username. Uh, what was his name? I can't remember. He did really cool art, but I saw him playing it, and I was just like, man, I want to like get a chance to like play that game soon. And he was like, yeah. I don't I don't remember the artist's name. Describe him. What's his name? I want to remember his actual name. I almost went to GDC 2011, but canceled last minute because my bundle was not looking good. Oh yeah, fair. I have a story about GDC later. I mean, I haven't gone to GDC, but I almost did, but COVID happened. COVID happened, and it was it was never the same. I don't need you. Release you. I don't need you. Uh, release you. Oh uh, well, is it? It's not. I want to say Javier, but that's not his name. Um, he did that, uh... There was that one thing that happened in, a. Uh... Oh, frick. I'm forgetting names. It's not Javier. What is it? George! That's what it is. George! George. That's his name. Or, that was his u part of his username. I don't remember. Uh, George. He's super cool. Yep! Him. Yep. Kai gets Sudo. Yeah. He's super cool. I enjoy talking with him. Every time at MAGFest. Whenever we get together, we get, like, Evan and all the guys. We just talk about, like, how much Twitter sucks. <laughs> we just, like, we have a good time. We catch up. Nice. Uh, it's George. I was right on George. George, yeah. 
George is cool. I love him. He's super cool. Sorry, George, if you were... Because I know he follows me on Twitch. If he pops in to be like, hey, what's he up to? I'm so sorry I forgot your name. It's just... I love the conversations at MAGFest, and I just miss those days. I would casually go if it wasn't so expensive. Yeah, I I always tried to save up and... Oh, this is not looking good. You're gonna pay, damn it! Yeah, George, JMV. Yeah. Yeah, JMV. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, Duper. That's what I'm talking about. He is a homie. I love him. Um, uh, anyway. Speaking of which, GDC. Uh, fun thing about that. What was it? Well, it's not even fun. I, I requested to get to GDC, and... I got in... Uh, these free invites to go to all these parties because we ended up getting connections with people well aside from screening mother to earth which I would have seen like a third time it would have been I would have gone to a lot of um, indie parties that they were having because they were I think it was people at a uh, game jolt uh, itch.io it, it was just like a lot of people just together we were gonna meet up with them and Evan and I were gonna like pitch ideas like well, we're gonna try to help out, like, in small devs and stuff. We wanted to, like, just get our... Just really get into GDC and just make connections, which... Evan and I seem to enjoy doing, because we always just reach out and just... Have adventures. You know the creator of Game Jolt, he's also home. Yeah, like, really cool people in the industry we wanted to talk to. And I'm pretty sure we would've met with, like, Frank's... We were to meet with, um... The guy from the Yeti, too. Like, we were to meet all these people. It was gonna be super exciting, but... It never happened because of COVID, and it super sucks. Like, we were really hoping that things were gonna go smooth sailing, but... But due to everything that kind of just worked out, I think it was for the best, but... Toasty Team was gonna go. I would've met you guys. Man, that would've been crazy. But, honestly, it's crazy. That second wave, though, yeah, it, it was not good. Yeah, but given like the circumstances, I don't think I'll be heading to another con anytime soon. Like until like there is a natural solution to everything, I would love to go to cons again. It would be amazing. Also, Ice Fire Fish, thanks for the follow. I didn't see that notification till now, but thanks for the follow. But I don't know that I'll go to cons except for. Camp Fangamer? I would love to go to another one of those. Like, I miss Camp Fangamer. Mag West, but... Yeah, Mag West I considered going because I know uh, my friend Rachel is uh, good friends with the people at the, um... With the MagFest group in general. Oh gosh, another MagFest story. Unknown intruders have arrived at B4F. Threat level, Orange. Orange, that's you! That's you! See, you're in Persona after all. Major facility area is locked. Eliminate the intruders. Alright. Yeah, what was it? Yeah, uh, there was... MagWest was fun because Gwabs is always there. I, I met Gwabs a couple times at MagFest. I always just watch him jam out. He, he's so much... So much fun to talk to. Uh, but yeah, at the end of MagFest, I remember... I think it was my first MagFest. Um, it was closing. It was just like, yeah... The next day, everything would have been done, but the night, I think they had the team from MAGFest just getting together just to have, like, closing ceremonies and just, like, go to the rooms and just party. Um, Evan uh, dragged a bunch of the Mother Earth team in this room, and we met this guy. His name is uh, Fat Chris, and that's what he likes to go by, uh, Fat Chris, it's funny enough. Like, we, we thought it was just like, no, but he's like, no, he, he enjoys that. And he's, like, a dad, too, so he's, he's super chill. Holy crap, that Chris is so funny. But when we went into the room, he kind of just treated us like we were, like, a part of the MAGFest team. So we got, like, a huge photo shoot of just, like, hey, here's the whole team at MAGFest. And we were all just, like, together. And we took a photo for, like, the team. And we clearly didn't do anything. So we just ended up being in the photo, even though we did absolutely nothing to help MAGFest, which was weird. But whatever, it was... It was humorous, I had a good time. And that was the same room that uh, Quincy just sat down because they had an NES set up. And he just played through the entirety of Mega Man 1, like, no problem at all. It was, um, it was a lot of fun. 
that entire night we were just like having a ball. It was a lot of fun. But also we just like kind of looked over the balcony. We talked about just silly stuff. It was it was fun. I, I liked chilling out and hanging out with my friends. It was fun. I would try getting the Camp Fan Gamer if there was another. It's most convenient being in Tucson, which is like my second home. I barely miss the 2016 one because I was moving out. Yeah, fair. Orange is fuming right now. What? Why is he fuming? Orange, are you okay? You alright, dude? Mega Man 1 is a piece of cake. Because <laughs> the threat level. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Darkness won't work. Everything is cake. Last con we went was FanFest. Interesting. The last con I. It would have been GDC, but the last one I went to was uh, Salt Lake Comic Con. Because my sister wanted to go. And I went. It was not fun. It was not as fun as other conventions. It's Salt Lake Comic Con is the con that has that badge that says you tried. Like, yeah, you did get for some reason. What was it? They got, like, people from the office there, which was like, hey, that's cool and all. But <laughs> it's just the guests weren't that great, and it cost too much to meet people. And, like, one guy at that con was trying to sell me a bootleg uh, NES Mini with obviously fake ROMs. And I kept eyeballing him, and he kept eyeballing me, and I'm just like, yeah, I'll come back to buy that, which I didn't, because I just wanted him to get off my back. But, yeah. I did not want to talk to that guy who was trying to sell me a fake NES Classic. They changed the name in the last few years. Uh, let's see. Remember Camp Fan Gamer 2016? It was breakfast and you were sitting alone, and I was like, hey, it's me, Sean from Twitter, before Evan corrupted you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I do remember that. I remember you came up to me and we had like a pleasant chat. Like, I, I enjoyed that. Like, I, I appreciate that people reached out to me at Camp Fan Gamer because I didn't know what I was doing. And then Evan was just like, hey, we need to film stuff, and it was just for funsies. Every time we went to FanFest, they had Star Trek characters that no one freaking knows. <laughs> it's true. And then Evan really reached... Yeah, Evan really reached out to me, for sure. And that was the thing. I, I socialized with a lot of people at camp. Like, I, I talked to a lot of people. Evan was just being goofy. But when they announced that they were doing the research area beyond this point, entry is forbidden to ordinary. Present your ID. Oh, we have to find some ID. It's so easy to socialize a camp fan gamer, and I don't know why. It's true. Yeah, but oh yeah, oh yeah, I got in trouble with the Sony rep at Salt Lake Comic Con too. I have to mention this story because at Salt Lake Comic Con, I was talking with um, they had a, a bus where Sony reps were showing off um, Crash Team Racing. This was before the game came out, so I got to try out Crash Team Racing, Beat Saber, even though Beat Saber was out by then. But they also had um, that uh, Justin Roiland game, uh, Trover Saves the World. All of that stuff was um, playable. Alright, gonna take off for the night because work in the morning. Cool to hear your stories, Matt. See you later, skater. Yeah, have a good night, Flower. But yeah, the the Sony booth. Gosh, the Sony booth. I went there and I wanted to just like take a photo of like something I had from merch I want to show my friend. But the Sony rep got like super paranoid, which props to this guy for looking out for people trying to sneak photos of like the crash like the crash team racing and trover and all that because he was just like hey you're not supposed to do that and i'm just like oh no i'm not taking a picture of the game i'm just like trying to take a photo it's like yeah just don't put cameras on here and i was like no no it's fine i get it and he felt really bad so he and, and the entire time he was just like hey man i'm sorry about that but it's the rules i was like no i get it don't worry like Wow, they really want me to do a special here. Uh, just deal new cards. I don't want to deal with this. But afterwards, I got buddy buddy with him because he noticed I was wearing my um, Parappa the Rappa shirt, and he was just like, "Oh man, yeah, Sony stuff." And I was like, "Yeah, Sony stuff." So we ended up talking about like Parappa and like a bunch of other games. And they let me stay the whole time, even until closing, because they're like, oh, hey, we're closing the booth. And I was like the last person to leave. And I was like, all right, cool. 
So I got really chummy with the Sony reps there. They were super cool. One freaked out a bunch, but I I almost wanted to get his contact to be like, hey, my, my sister and everyone's planning to move to California and stuff. And they're like, ah, we'll see, but yeah. it. I met cool people, but I also met some very weird people at Salt Lake uh, Comic Con. Just weird, weird times, but they were times in my life, but I would still say that Salt Lake Comic Con was the weakest of conventions I've ever been to. Well, this is what tonight is. We're talking about conventions. Enemy weak to light. I love Sony. I'm a huge fan of Sony PlayStation All Stars. <laughs> I've never played PlayStation All Stars. Fun fact: I've ne never played it. I, even though I have a PS3, I've never had a chance to play those games. It's so bad. I figured not a lot of people talk highly about that game. Come on. <sighs> Imagine Smash Bros, you can only kill with final smashes. I'm a big PlayStation guy too. Nice. Like, I don't mind PlayStation stuff. I, I grew up with the mentality of like a Nintendo fanboy. And it went on until like I graduated from high school. And then I started learning more about other games outside of consoles, clearly. Because I was starting to get interested in other games that everyone talked about, like on PlayStation. Like, one of the big games... Like, I didn't have a console for it. I was like, man, I would love to play Kingdom Hearts, but I didn't have it, so I played it at, like, friends' places. But when I went to college, that's when I got to play more of, like, Careful. Persona games, but that I watched my friend play win. it, because I got to learn more about, like, PS2 titles, PlayStation, and I just did more research about other video games. I was like, oh, I want to play these. These would be, this would be really cool, but now that I'm at my age now, I've been collecting and just, like, trying my best to get my hands on whatever console so I can play, like, games I don't want to miss out on, like, I didn't tweet about it, but I'm considering getting a Dreamcast to do an SD mod, because I have a spare CRT TV, and I want to have that set up for, like, uh, PlayStation and, like, other consoles, and just kind of have fun with that. That's why you play the Xbox all the time, right, Branch? <laughs> I... Fun fact about the Xbox, my only um, exposure to um, Xbox stuff was uh, I had a neighbor. Uh, they were an Italian family. Uh, they were amazing. Um, I got to play um, Fusion Frenzy. Uh, I played um, Halo most of the time, but I got to play like a small handful of Xbox titles, which were a lot of fun. I think that was the first time I learned about um, Jet Set Radio and stuff, because I think they had Jet Set Future. And, gosh, I love that game. It's so good. Mario Party's gonna get destroyed by Fusion Frenzy. No, Fusion Frenzy was just fun. I had fun. But, yeah. Xbox, I didn't get too mega into. But, I think I mentioned this before. I got really into the Xbox 360, but it was mostly just titles that existed on other consoles. Like, uh, Rock Band, Guitar Hero. Like, my, my dad was the big Xbox 360 player. And, uh, what else? Yeah, and I, that's how I played Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. We had it on 360, but then my dad sold the 360, and I, I'm still not too keen that he did that, but what, what can you do? I'll heal nobody. So. I'll just attack regularly. I still can't believe you got rid of your Taco Bell Xbox. Hey, the thing is, I know... I'm gonna be honest with you. If I kept that Xbox, I wouldn't play it. I would not play it. I gave it to my brother-in-law, then he gave me money to help me pay rent for the next month. Because I was low on money. And he's selling it to someone who is willing to give it more love and compassion than I ever would. It's just, I would rather be playing... At least it's in the family. Not really, I think it's in, like, my sister's extended family. But yeah, it's still technically in the family, I guess. But yeah, we'll, we'll see. It's just, the experiences I had with Xbox, well, another Xbox story. Uh, my friend had a modded Xbox. It was a rich family that I knew. Um, they modded their Xbox just to play only Nintendo games, and that is how I was introduced to a majority of the Nintendo line. Because our family, would we would always visit them on the weekends, because they invite us over for dinner, we bring food, because since my family, my mother's side of the family were from Brazil, We'd always get Brazilian food. We'd just have, like, fun meals because they were, like, neighbors. They were family to us, essentially. So, um, 
I experienced a lot of Nintendo games on the Xbox, even though it was all emulated, but that's how I got to experience most of it. And then in high school, after I got like my Nintendo Wii, I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna just collect Nintendo games, and that's what started off my weird hobby. Just attack. No one's gonna. Hey, Teddy, what are you doing? You okay? Remember the original Xbox Live ads? How heavily they promoted the voice changer for privacy concerns. I wish they took off. I wish that took off. Same. Uh, Xbox was a. Uh, it was interesting. It was an interesting time for Xbox. And I think the only uh, experiences I had with uh, PS3, like at most, at a young age, because I was, I, like, it was the same family that had like all the current consoles. Uh, what was it? I got really into Metal Gear Solid 4. That was like my first Metal Gear Solid game I've ever played through, which is probably like a sin in the eyes of like every MGS fan out there. But I played through 4. Not all of it, but I enjoyed playing 4, even though it was just a majority cutscenes. Because since I was new to me, I was like, oh, I don't have to play too much or worry about like skill. All I had to do was just make sure I focus on the story and just do everything else correctly, which was. It was fun. I, I enjoyed Metal Gear Solid 4. And that got me into wanting to learn more about the Metal Gear series. And it was also because Snake was in Smash, so it was just convenient timing. Uh, so many video games. I could talk about, like, I keep forgetting when does absolutely nothing. Why do I keep doing this? So I gotta focus on the game. I can't defeat it! Like it hurts. Why did I do it again? Gosh dang it. I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. Remember that website that if you just go onto it, it would just hack everything called You Are an Idiot? Good times. Good times. My game experiences well. date around 1995 when I was four years old, and then had an SNES with all the good stuff: Mario All Stars, DK, DK2, FF6, and Illusion of God. Nice. I mean, time. if I really want to get to the earlier stages, what was it? The earlier stages of video games. What was it? Uh, I have to think of it really quick because my very first you game. Watch your health I'll watch my health. Hold on. Um, the first, 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 first video game I've ever played was, um, Super Mario Brothers, clearly. But, I remember in Brazil, I barely remember it, like, I think most of the video game impact was from, like, early high school. But, Mario Brothers was the first game I played as a baby, and they had it when I was just, like, an actual literal child. But, what else was there? Uh, I didn't get to play any of their video games after. I played Super Nintendo at a couple friends' places, but it never really took off much, I think. Uh, it was just a lot of stuff. But then, I didn't get really into it until, like, the N64 era. That's when I got, like, a little more into it, but then when I got to the Wii era of stuff, that's when I was like, okay, I want to buy a Wii and just do this. It was amazing the idea of controlled cartoons. That's cool. It's just... I gotta really, like, sit down and think about stuff, because I can just mumble and mumble stories about video games forever, because it's like, video games mean so much to me, like, it's stupid, everyone says it online, it's just, it's been with me, like, most of my life, and it's gotten me to where I am everywhere. Intruders will be eliminated, hold on, RP8 intruders. Matt, I finished something for you, please show it on stream, hold on, let me use a go home and save first before I do anything else, hold on. Let me do a go home. Because I got to the next floor and I want to save and I don't want the game to crash. Turn to the entrance. Duper, I will show the funny joke on stream. Don't you, don't you worry, baby boy. Alright, let's see what Duper's talking about. He wants me to show this on stream. What is it? Where is it? 
It's in fan art on Discord. Okay, fan arts. All right, we'll pause the game for a little bit. Well, there's a lot of fan art. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you, but I'm going to show it anyway. Hold on. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I'll save the photo so I can just, like, boop it up on a... <laughs> I'm not doing display capture. Hold on. Oh, gosh. Here we go. Let's let's find it here. Hold on. Matt meme one. <laughs> Implying there will be more. Oh my gosh. Why'd you make this? Why did you make this? <laughs> you forgot my facial hair, dude! <laughs> you completely got rid of it. <laughs> Because I sent for reset. <laughs> easy fix. Exactly. Easy fix. Dude, here's the thing. I'm already in the relationship thing with Marie. If I get reset in, there's no consequences. That is what I've been told by my friend from England. She was... She kept telling me it's like... I told her I was going for Marie. And she was like, Matt, listen. You don't... You know you can get another, like, girl in a romance route. And I was like, What? And she's like, yeah, you could do that. And she told me, like, Maria is just like, it's not a part of your school. So if you were to date someone else in a social link, you will not get consequences. And I'm like, okay, sure, I guess. But yeah, Duper only made this because here's the thing. Duper does not like Rise. <laughs> he does not like Rise to any capacity. Matt, you fixed it. All right, we'll show the fixed one. We'll show the fixed one. There it is. <laughs> I do not. You hate Rise, admit it. Because you're more for, like, Chie. I know you. Whoa, nope. <laughs> are, are you lying to me? Actually, <laughs> don't lie to me. You know where liars go. Down to... Arizona. That's right. That uh, is not the fixed image. Hold on. It's spoilers. Okay, then don't tell me then. Yes, replace the image. Oh my gosh. I'm having a hard time trying to get this saved. Hold on. Why does this girl have a Klonoa hat? I don't know. But yeah, here she is. The fixed facial hair. <laughs> like on the spot. Why she have Klonoa hat? I like that comment. It's very good. Yeah, enough of that. <laughs> Thanks, Duper, for drawing that. I showed it on stream. I hope you're happy. Uh, <laughs> I hope you're happy. Of course. Yeah, I got like 30 minutes left on stream, so we're gonna try to... Oh, let's try some uh, fusing. Hold on. Let's fuse some Personas. Why not? Oh, speaking, speak of the devil, Marie left another poem. Oh, boy. Marie is nowhere to be found. Oh, what's the poem going to say? Am I going to cry? There's another piece of paper on the floor. Something is written on it in funky handwriting. All you clowns. <laughs> How long are you going to wear that ugly mask? You know you ain't got the guts for this task. Oh, jeez. You're acting like you ain't afraid of what you got in store for your fate. She's talking about you guys, you chat. You got me? Well, that's too bad. Because I ain't stupid enough to get had. So drop the pathetic act. I want to dance, and that's a fact. Now quit your gawking and start to react. Yeah, yeah. Now dance. She's calling all the chat out. That's what I got from it. She called you all clowns. I mean... That's her words, not mine. This must be another Marie's poems. Arg! She's a pirate now. What is this? Hey you, what are you doing reading that? I told you not to read these. You jerk, this doesn't mean anything. I'm not dancing for anyone. Why don't you just dance your way off a cliff? <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> Margaret, <laughs> Margaret, you're just not gonna say anything? You think you see Margaret smile, but only for a fleeting instant. <laughs> anyway, I hate you, stupid clown. Don't read my stuff. Never mind, she is talking about me. Well, well. How the tables have turned. She furiously returns back to her seat. Uh, let's check compendium. Let's register some personas. Hee-ho. And hee-ho. I'm gonna sneeze. I hope not. I hope I don't sneeze. Let's fuse. Wait, what's what's the forecast like? Interesting. Okay. I remember I have weed, the the persona that just looks like weed. Oh my gosh. I would like that. <laughs> it's just a it's just a tombstone. Or not tombstone, it's a casket. What am I saying? The casket? This whatever the heck that is. No. No. Sarcophagus, that's the word. That's the magic gamer word. 45... 46... You know what? I'll get you. You seem funny enough. Silence all foes. Automatic uh, sukucha at the start of the battle. I don't know what that is. Whatever. I just want the funny sarcophagus. I don't want to see the animation. No. <laughs> I am Mott. You won't be forgetting me anytime soon. <laughs> of course not. You're just a sarcophagus just rattling around. Oh gosh, I was, I was seeing Mott, the casket guy, is super nasty in SMT3. I bet. Ah! Here we go. I got him. I got this the stinky sarcophagus. All right, let's see what else I can fuse. Nope. Nope. Too high of a level. Not getting you. N no. No. It's fine. I got. I I fused some personas. It was fun. It was enjoyable. He doesn't seem too upset. Yay! Okay, that's that's it. I could do healing. I'll consider it. Hmm. I really need to use the bathroom really quick. Ah, oh, man. I mean, I wouldn't mind a heal. Let me just save first before I do anything. That is a lot of yen, though. Jeez. Um... I gotta use the bathroom really quick. I will BRB. It shouldn't take me too long at all, so... Let me... Get a song or something playing while I'm, uh... Let me see if I can get a BRB text popping up. Hold up. Uh, text. Yes. I'll put a big old BRB. I'll be right back. This will be very quick. Hold on. Big, big ugly BRB. <laughs> yeah, I'll be back. Hold on.
back from the dead. Sorry I took so long. <sighs> anyway. <sighs> Be careful what you eat. That's my advice for, from me to you. From the comfort of your home, please watch what you eat. If you don't, you will regret it. <sighs> I say that as I take a sip of hydration juices. Anyway, back to the game. I should take that BRB off. Hold on. <laughs> take that out of there before I forget. Alright. Should I heal? Well, it's... Everyone's SP is low. I mean, I can... If to save Yen, I could just go home for the night, and then come back and do stuff. That might be for the best, rather than just dropping all my Yen. Let's just do that, actually. Wait. How far did we make it? The Let me check. Let's check. I don't... I think we're at the floor where we have to... Fight, I think? Gosh, is my memory that bad? No, it's just because my SP is low. I'll just, I'll, I'll play it safe because I don't mind. I'm definitely gonna have to do some off-stream grinding in this game for sure to keep playing. So let's just uh, let's call it a a TV time. That's fine. We'll we'll make progress. And I'll definitely do some off-stream grinding, so it doesn't get too boring next time Ooh, I stream. Welcome back! Yay! We are too tired, so straight to sleep we go. Sunday. Prepare to take action. What should I do today? Literally anything. Alright, what do you got for us, my good man at the shopping program? Hey, Tanaka. Reprisal chain. Mm hmm. Heavy soup. Soma. Got high quality water. Purifying water. What? Uh, Reprisal Chain Combo, or Soma. Does it really matter which one I get? I mean, Chain is you be able to equip something. I think that might be important. Too bad you can't look up the stats of the items before you buy- Yeah, that's- It is a shame. Cause, like, Soma, it's like, that sounds interesting, but I don't know what it does. Unless, like, a huge Persona head came in and was like, Wait a minute, it's this, this, and I'm like, okay. Is it like this in Persona 5 as well? Just asking out of curiosity. It, Cause if it's more or less the same, that's kind of an inconvenient, to be honest. Hmm. Or Persona 3, I don't know. Uh, well. I want the proposal chain. I'm looking it up. Because... <laughs> Let's see. Um, reprisal. Chain. Persona 4. Oh, someone even just asked the share a question. That or Soma. <laughs> it's like the first result. Wow. Alright, we're going to Game Facts, if anyone remembers that website.
Ah, uh, looks like reprisal chain it is then. I'll buy it. Thanks, Tanaka. Cool. I'm all healed up. Yep. Let's let's look around town. I I really want to get that figure. I really, really want that figure. Come on. Please. Come on. This is my life now. Come on. No! Oh well. Alright, back to Inaba, I guess. I guess we'll find Naoto. Let's do the thing. I already maxed Social Link with you! Ugh! I do need to build Social Link with Risei, though. Gosh dang it. Because it's like... Bro, I maxed out with Marie. Look. I maxed out! Oh yeah, the fox. Shoot. But how do I social link with the fox? So I just go to the shrine and he's there and I'm like, hey buddy. How do I social link with the fox? It's not at the shrine. Is there a certain days he's at the shrine? I don't remember. That's the real question. Actually, what I should do, because I got items, I need to sell them. Gotta do that thing. Stuff, huh? Hmm. Let's check weapons. Oh my gosh. 210. I want the big sword. Teddy. This will give you a bit of an advantage, but you're more for healing. You don't really attack much. Yosuke. Good gravy. Yosuke. Uh, let's see what she has. That raises by 200. Whew. It's true. And then Yukiko. Still no other brother? That's fine. Kanji, let's see what about, what about you. Hmm. The 
am I gonna use kanji in the dungeon? I don't know. Um, more than anything, I should probably focus on getting SP. So I wonder. Cause I heard Sean mention tab. Let's see if I can get a, a sooty pop. Vending machine. Tap. Wait, how much does tap give you? Ten SP? That's gonna you know, I mean it is the cheapest, but that's a lot of tap soda. <laughs> Hold on, let's see what I can buy. New items? What the heck? 400 HP?! Yo! 400! Okay, 400 to all allies. That, well, that's what I'm looking for. Revives and first... All my life savings! No, I'm not. I'm not doing that. Yeah, I will limit to that like three tops. And then Bomb of Life. Uh, we'll get that too. Yeah. And that's for a single ally. This is for all, which I'm fine with. No way, I didn't get... <sighs> Why did I X out so soon? We're going back in. Don't do this to me. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's see. What was the one for SP? Did they not sell it here? Weird. <sighs> I think I missed it. I don't know. Could buy tap soda. I could. Um, should I just do the dungeon part, I guess? Or social link for the day? Not really help. Use this day to Junez. Hey, Yosuke, there you are. I am close to finishing the social link with Yosuke. But, not now. We gotta level grind. Gotta take advantage of level grinding. There's always time to social link later. Everyone's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go into the TB. Alright, let's go. Don't forget to get your party members, Matt. Do not forget. You're all fired up. I won't fall behind. Yeah, get get going. I will. Alrighty, let's go the wrong way. Let's search for Naoto. It's probably a mini boss. Take care of it. Start from the F5, yep. Oh, frick. I almost forgot it again. Thanks, stupid idiot brain. Megan's going ham on Katamari. Yeah. Katamari's good. I like Katamari. Katamari Damasi. Good stuff. Everyone's in. We should be good. <sighs> oh, hey, what's up, man? Encourage him. Roger that. Let's hurry and rescue that kid. 
Oh yeah, my mom made me take this. It'll help pump you up. Bones! Send me. Bone juice. I got bone juice. Peach seed. Meat. I don't need to heal quite yet. We're good. Which version of Katamari? I'm guessing you got um, the remaster on Switch, I guess. Oh, that is not good. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, it's a no-brain. No-brainer. Okay. Ah, uh, it's a no -brainer. Okay, so. Don't give up now, okay? I'm not giving up. I'm just checking my surroundings. Like any good person would. Can't use ice attacks. Wait, electric res- Wait, what? Oh, what? Burn, baby, burn. More enemies, cool. What if I just go ham on... Yeah, there we go. What if I just bap it? Bap, bap. There we go. And there we go. Shuffle time. Let's go. There's a crow. Give me more money, please. Nice. <coughs> Black Frost is becoming too powerful. <coughs> Man, I almost choked on something. <coughs> I breathed in the wrong way, that's what. Whatever that means. Bob's. <coughs> anyway. Ah, there we go. Sip of liquid. I freaking messed up. I didn't hit A fast. It's fine. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, no one died. It's fine. No money. I am sad about that. That is unfortunate. There's nothing I can do. Alright, treasure chests. Give me the light. We found the stairs pretty fast this time. Huh. Short. What the? Uh -oh. that space. One's the darkness. Space gun. Space gun. What are these stupid police knots? Okay. Places, everyone. And action. Police knots is a video game by Hideo Kojima. There's one game I have not played yet. I heard it's good. I'm about to give that a shot. Somewhere. Money, money, money. This is Mr. Krabs once said, money, 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 money. Hell, Magnuma. Getting a lot of hell items tonight. Alrighty. Let's just make sure I didn't miss any door. Oh jeez! I'm not gonna fight you. Actually, I probably should fight you for the XP. Let's let's freaking go. I'll fight you. Uh oh, that was immune to darkness. Darkness. Protect me, Tamoe. Now that's a strike. Go for it, Chai-chan. Let's do the thing again. Three of them. Don't give up now, okay? 
Enemy defeated. Keep it up, Yosuke Senpai. Oh, wow. That didn't work in my favor. Okay, that is not gonna work. What am I doing? Oh, nice move, Yosuke Senpai. Come on! Yeah, this is not gonna work. I just at least want one of those guys out of the way. She is gonna straight up die if I don't do anything. However, physical attacks won't work. So okay, physical guys, don't. Guys, senpai's really hurt. I'm I'm aware. Chill out. Let's figure it out. I'll get there. Damn, it's not going down. Hula, that's a good one. Perfect. Whoa! Uh, EXP up. Just give me that. Alright, I leveled up. Nice. Wind boost. Hey. Don't need light wind. Default foes. As long as I get a wind boost, it should be good. So I don't want to use light wind. Yeah. I leveled up! Okay, good. I didn't have to make another spell decision. Huh. Low. Uh, don't, don't you worry. Don't you cry no more. No crying. We'll, we'll, we'll fix that up in like two seconds. Watch. You're all good. You're healed. Alright. Uh oh, that one's immune to darkness. Well, it's a good thing I'm using fire. Sure, Teddy, what are you gonna do? It's so stubborn! <laughs> Teddy. That's some thick skin. Ice resistant. Just what I'd expect, GA Senpai. There's fire again, screw it. Come on, buddy. Should have expected right. this by now. I gotta step up too. Yes, I'm becoming more powerful. Ugh. All right, now we can go to the stairs. And get that dealt with. Nice, nice, nice. Mm. 
to the stairs. Alright, are you progressing? Unknown intruders have arrived at B6F. Eliminate the intruders. Alright. Get back here, nerd. We're gonna bum rush you, nerds. We need money. Ooh, a rare one. Don't let it get away. Let's get the money. Money, money, money. Beat it to a pulp. Keep going, guys. Please. Please, please, please. No! Everyone's gonna get poisoned at this rate. She a Y. You mean to me or yeah, this is gonna suck. Chie! Chie! Chie Senpai's confused! How do I beat the freaking heck out of your face to be like, stop it? Uh, Teddy, you don't need it. Thank you! Oh no, Teddy's poisoned! Watch as this does nothing. Yeah, I figured. By the way, if this dungeon has some mandatory floor backtracking, so like... COOL! I love backtracking! Great stuff! Great game! Ooh! I'm kidding, I'm being mean. I'm being very rude. This is a video game. But clearly has feelings. It's... I'll, I'll get... Up. What did I miss? If there's a certain thing I missed, what did I miss? This match was a freaking waste of time, oh my god. Go get him! Go, go, go! Hey, it ran away! Yeah, it ran away! I wasted all my time doing this. Cool! I didn't get anything. Big waste of time. I am a... Uh... What the frick am I looking at? Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, it's a no brainer. No brainer, alright. Win this. Good. Come on! Take this! Someone finish it off! Come, Jiraiya! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, okay. all attack. Is everyone ready? Do Get it. set. Yep, leave it to us. Yeah, go, go, go! <sighs> Man. Just money. I'm so sick of not getting money. As much yen as I can get. Maybe I should change that option where I can get more money. Make it easier for me, but that would be the non game for me. What the heck? That one's immune to electricity. What am I looking at? It's a castle with legs.
You'll need some new cards. That didn't help much. Yes. Increase the magic by one. Make Black Frost powerful. Powerful than anyone can imagine. After I clear this floor, like I might just um, do some off-level grinding, and then hopefully we'll continue more on this dungeon later. But let's just get this floor done. Just want it over with. Let's see. This enemy. It's weak towards fire. Okay. Let's do rampage. What up? Hey yo. Oh no. Three enemies left. You can win this. Let's see. That's fine. Might as well. I need to the Oh, never mind. That was a bad idea. I read it all wrong. I read the room entirely wrong. Me, big idiot. No, watch this. You're on a roll, mind. senpai. Oh, no, keep it up. I'll keep it up. Just give me a minute. There we go. Don't worry. We good. We good. Uh, yeah, yeah. Skills. Teddy's got skills. See? Skills. Three treasure chests. Ooh, I better get them all. Research card. All right, cool. There was a research card. You're right about that. I just realized that. Shoot. There was a floor earlier that needed a research card. I'm gonna have to do that crap over again. I don't remember what floor it is either. So. Oh boy. Backtracking. Ooh, nice move, Yosuke Senpai. You can win this. With wind? Absolutely. Watch this. Watch this. Bam, bam. How did I miss that? We'll try it again. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, yeah, a lot of time. Frick, I dropped my headphones. Oh, no. Let me recover, would you kindly? Alright! Level up! Neat. <sighs> Let's check out the other treasure chests, get those keys, and we can backtrack. Which I'm not looking forward to. Gosh, are you serious? <laughs> this is stupid. Open. 
this story. Look out! It's immune to physical attacks. Um, I'll use the fire. Why not? Keep it up, Yosuke Senpai. Two defeated. That one's totally weak. Okay, then I'll just uh whap it. Whap. Whap. I did it! We won! Power up! Neat. You did it, Teddy. Please be something useful. I mean, that's useful, but not what I've been needing. It's okay. It's okay, we'll figure something out. Yes, Yosuke, do it. Strike. Enemy down. Yeah, let's, let's I'll take it, I'll take it. Here we come. Couldn't quite beat it. Teddy! Junez Bomber, what? <laughs> Teddy, please. Oh my god. That did nothing. Nat did something. Luck. Uh, I'll increase whatever this is. Endurance. There you go. Okay, nothing here. Let's. Uh, where did I go? I disappeared. We really do have to backtrack, huh? This is gonna be the the big suck. Mm. Yeah, cause this is the one that needs the key. It's the only thing that's really. Uh, what floor was it? with the uh, other key because my memory is very fuzzy right now I may have to like start from the first floor again and climb my way up <sighs> I know or since it's going downstairs I have to go back upstairs oh my gosh at least yeah, I'm gonna just call it a night, because I'll be up here all night if I try to keep this up. Let's use a go home. Yeah, we're gonna save. I've passed like three hours, and I'm, I need to sleep. I got work tomorrow. Yeah, I'll just save, and I'll just level grind off stream a bit. Or not, we'll see. Save again to be sure. Never be too sure. Yeah, it's late. <laughs> it is late, I need to go to bed. Now you're making me triple check myself if I saved. Did it a third time. Don't make me do it a fourth. I hate doubting myself. No, end the game. Just end it. 
I'll I'll be sure to do some level grinding off stream to to say the least. But for now, that was a lot of fun. Uh, we talked a lot about video games tonight. That's for sure. Uh, don't know if anyone is up to raid. It's like Monday night. I'm definitely gonna need to go to sleep. Cause I gotta get up early and do that thing I always do. Work a boring job. But I really do appreciate everyone that stopped by, especially with uh, Sean coming in with the uh, the gift sub for flower. Um, especially Duper doing a sub, even though like chat made him. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that really sucks. I didn't want chat to do that, but the follows and all the funny voices, just, it was a lot of fun. Peer pressure, take my money. Uh, it's, it, it's been a weird night. Hello, yeah, the meme you made too. Um, we'll show that off again really fast. Good, <laughs> good times. <laughs> I love it. But yeah, it's, uh, it's been a lot of fun. Um, I'll be streaming again. Uh, for those who don't know, I stream every other day. So just to close that off, it's um, I'll be streaming again Wednesday, the twenty second. Tomorrow, uh, Dupes will be streaming more Tulip, I believe. So give its Duper a follow. Um, watch him play Tulip. Yet yeah, it was funny because yesterday he was um, he he found a lot of turds and died, and. It was not a fun. I might stream too. Been doing Donkey Kong Country too. Oh, really? Uh, let me uh, just do a thing really quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a cool gamer thing. I'm gonna uh, hold on. Let's see if I can just go to your account just for fun. I can. Ha ha. Let me do the funny thing. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu, I'll give you a follow. Seven days ago, you were streaming on Nintendo. Cool, I gave you a little follow. Oh, hey, I was tabbed out and headphones off. Uh, once my VR space is cleaned up again, I'm planning streaming VR fitness stuff. And I see you using the logo. Yeah, I did. I am using the logo you made. And I still love these two memes of Nintendo fans and Hey Idiot, quit playing that trash and play Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne for the Nintendo. It's jokes. You finish your promo for tomorrow? That's good. Uh, it's all good stuff. I'm, I'm very happy for all the... I'll get back on the horse this week. Nice, that'd be cool. I'll try to see if I can catch your stream sometimes. Because I'm always um, streaming every other day. So, I'll see if I can try to catch your streams. And if I can add you to my host list too, so whenever you go live, it'll show up live on my feed. So people drop by the channel, they can just pop by at your place. So easy stuff. I can do that. But yeah, I'm tired. Uh, yeah, and if you check the description, if you haven't checked my social media, I have a Discord server and all that fun junk. Um, it's in the description on Twitch. Do the do whatever. I love streaming. It's It's been fun, and I'm glad that everyone's been uh, nice to me. And I hope everyone is nice to everyone else outside, aside from Twitch. But yeah, do some good in the world. Uh, please stay safe. Wear a mask if you need. Like, when you're out, I beg of you. Just do anything you can just to just help others, just help yourself, and just... Yeah. We'll, we'll get through this. I don't know how, but... Yeah, love each other. Legit, don't be a dingus. Yeah. Um, it's great. I'll be seeing you guys again Wednesday, but I'll be in the chat for a bit with uh, Duper's channel for Chulip. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to bed. I'm out. Peace. Wait, I have a Zelda Wind Waker filter pocket mask cosplay streamless. Oh, cool. Nice. Well... Night, I, for reals, I, I gotta go to bed. Later. <laughs>